Hi, Frenchie. Hi, Donna. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. My red lipstick sister. <laughs> you guys, thanks for coming in. We have Frenchie here today as a special treat. The real stitch. I want you. I want, I want you to tell the story how you got that okay. the real stitch name. All right. Okay. Yeah, because I think it's really cool. So Frenchie and I have been here, have been friends for a really, really long time, and I'm so glad to have her here today. And I, I did as a special treat, you guys. I said to Frenchie, "You got anything you want to sell today?" And so she's uh, threw together. I think the both of us were running around like two lunatics. So she just pulled together. She was going to come on the um, marathon, but wasn't able to get on. So she had some lots built. So I told her, well, you know what? Let's do it. Let's uh, let's sell some stuff. Always have something to sell. You have the best stuff. Oh, thanks. So do you. I have proof. Look, everybody, my necklace. Oh, my God. That is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, Frenchie, it looks ring. Awesome. the it's ring is from me, the necklace is from me. Look at oh my yeah, gosh. Gorgeous. I just like I just polished it up just a little bit and it is stunning. I oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I love it. Well, you bought that pendant last night or yesterday yeah. afternoon. That pendant was amazing. I love that shell. Yeah. And that is that the chain that came with it? Yes. Yeah, you guys, that chain was pure pure silver, right? 999 it said on it. 999. Oh my god, the shell is amazing. Oh, it looks so pretty on you. I, I love just it. love it. <laughs> I love it when people love it. looks yeah. awesome on you. I love yeah. it. It's just yeah. like the perfect length and the quality of it is just amazing. I told you that when I was yeah. watching it, it didn't feel like regular silver. It's like like butter. Yeah. <laughs> like butter, <laughs> like butter, darling. Like butter, yeah. <laughs> something about that nine 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 is yeah. um, that's the only piece I've ever um, well that I've ever noticed that yeah. said nine 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 on it. I don't know if I've sold other pieces that said nine nine nine, but um, yeah, really pretty. Okay, let's say hello to some of our friends. It's morning delight here in California, my darling Donna. Hello, darling. Hello, Larry. <laughs> And Frenchie, nice to meet you. All right, I'm going to have Frenchie introduce herself in one second. Uh, Frenchie and Donna and Laughs just woke up. Coffee first and then fun. Thank you, Carolyn. Thank you. And there she is because she shed. Two of my favorite people. Thanks, Robin. You're so sweet. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ginger Ann. Hi, honey. Good morning. Good morning to everyone. Hi, Dev. Hi, sweetheart. She says hello to everyone in the chat. Mama G, thank you for being here. I really appreciate all your all your um hard work. I really do, honey. Um and Tammy, hello, welcome, honey. Leon, thanks for coming in. Christine B. Hello, Donna and Frenchie. Hello, everyone. Hi, everybody. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hi, Eric. Thank you for being here. Thanks for logging on. James Cisco. I got some plush. I sold some nice plush yesterday of Joy Munkins in the background. She's like, shh, shh, shh. tell him to go away. <laughs> Sorry, Joy. <laughs> mine, mine. I know. Her and James have to um, arm wrestle for it. <laughs> and let's see, Dora. Thank you. Invisible bitters in the house. Thank you for leaving such a nice comment in my um in my my chat. Invisible bitter. I really appreciate it. You're very sweet, you guys. It's really important to um go back and leave comments in the chat. And Cha Cha is in the house. Cha Cha, I responded to you with just a good morning. I'm gonna try to call you later. Um, after the show, while I'm doing my shipping, Michigan ladies in the house. Hello, sweetheart, and Sun Moon Cricket, Emville. Hi, hey Wes. Yes, this is an auction for sure. For sure, it is. Um, let's see who else is here. Who else is here? T. Hi, honey. Hello, T. I'm sorry I didn't call you back, T. I, I was chatting with T this morning, and then I, I was up and out of the house early this morning, running, 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 and um, I told her I'd, I'd call her back, and I never did. But you know how I am. <laughs> I'll call you back. 
<laughs> I promise. So it's so, new. What's everyone having for lunch? Put in the chat what you're having for lunch. If you're having coffee or. Yeah. I'm what's having. having? Uh, you're having coffee. Quiche and cabbage. Nice. How's that cabbage cooked? It is sauteed with um, onions and paprika. Oh, I love cabbage. Yeah. Love it. It cleanses. Let's go. Oh, it I way. love, I love the taste of cabbage. So like Vidalia onions, so it gives it a little bit of sweet. sweetness mm -hmm. and olive oil and garlic. And a little bit of butter. And a little That's bit of butter. butter. Like. Butter. <laughs> and paprika paprika yeah salt and pepper, a little bit but yeah it's wow. like good for my you know keeps me regular and it's like zero calories so yeah that's awesome i love i know i want to go out and buy some cabbage yeah melissa Kate, thank you for being here <laughs> Harry Katap, hello well denise is having homemade pizza yum michelle trout thank you denise and love hi honey Thank you for being here, Casual Flipper. Welcome, welcome. And Neil, hello. Not hello. Sure. Thank you for being here. Hi, Neil. You guys are great. Sanford, hello. Thank you for being here. And let's see. Matt, I saw you, Matt. I saw you somewhere up here. Where are you? Matt. Oh, Hi, Matt. Hey, Matt. I'm stuck in a hotel room, so I'm glad you were doing an auction today. I was so bored. Oh, Michelle, enjoy being stuck in a hotel room. I wish I was stuck in a hotel room. <laughs> Nothing to do but just sit back and watch. Oh, my God. That sounds like oh. a dream to me. Enjoy it. Enjoy oh, it. I'm probably one of the only people that doesn't mind waiting at, like, at the dentist office or the doctor's office when they say to you they're running behind and they make you wait like that extra hour sometimes too because they're running behind because I'm it's like it's almost like the same feeling I have when I'm stuck at a drawbridge here in South Florida oh, yeah There's nothing you can do about it well, you could in a doctor's office you could get up and leave and reschedule but to mm -hmm. me I take that time to like catch up on my social media catch up on my emails like I love just mm -hmm. being able to just be sitting there and not doing not doing anything because I never ever, um, hey Donna, ever find my purse. Yes, I have your purse. I have it. I have it. Um, did you send that other one back? I sent her. I bought two people bought um, um, the same maker brand, and wow. I sent. I sent. They were like, I don't know. Just say hypothetically. I don't remember the make. Michael Kors, and I sent this Michael Kors to that one, and that Michael Kors to that one. That's I'm sorry, but we'll get that um, figured out. And a funky fluffy. Hello. Thank you for being here. Farmer. Is Farmer in the house? He is. Farmer. Hello, Farmer. Thank you nooner. for being here. It's a nooner. It's a nooner. <laughs> Cindy Roach. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Thanks for coming in. I know it's early. A lot of people are probably just waking up, having their coffee. Um, yeah, West Coasters. Yeah, there is a lot of West Coasters. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's see. T is going on. T, tell me in the chat because I, I have such a hard time keeping your schedule. I think seven, maybe eight. I'm not 100% sure. And she has um, Kimmy on tonight on her auction. Mm -hmm. So um, T will be going on tonight. So okay. please go over and support T. If you have the link made, please drop it in the chat. And um, did you grab your did you grab your channel link by any chance? Um, no, I didn't. Um, Can you say hi in the chat? Me? Yeah. Say hi in the. Chat. And then maybe I can ask Mama G to go over and grab your channel. Yeah, she did um, it. Before. Hi, Froggy. Oh, she already did it. She did it before. I mean, uh, whenever oh, okay. I was somewhere else, if she can get to it, that's fine. I am going to have uh, some eventual content. Um, yep. Connie so. books and things. Hello. I've already gotten so much done today. I'm ready for a break. This is a great time. Oh, Connie. Good. I got so much done today too already. My gosh, I've been like running, running, running all morning. So, um, but I'm still going and in the morning. Thanks Robin. 
Thanks for putting in that in. Oh um, yeah. So French is trying to grow her channel. Um, she is thinking of an idea for content. Um, do you want to share that with everybody? I wasn't sure if I was going to go the reseller route or any type of teaching on reselling because I've been reselling for 14 years. So I um, was kind of going to go that route, but I might go in a different direction. So I'm, I'm still contemplating that. I'm not really sure, um, but I love this. So, I mean, this is always fun. I thank you so much for having me and it's so good to see everybody um, at noon or 7 a.m. or whatever time it is where you live. But thanks. I appreciate it. And right now I have a few things from a year ago on there, which I have all new equipment and I'm ready to go. It's just a matter of where my heart is as far as what I want to do. Well, you kind of did a little bit of a, um, an idea that you had. We talked a few weeks ago. You still kind of going on that? Or you wanted to leave that a surprise or you want to? Yeah, wanna I, I might go into a lifestyle channel for 50 and over. Yeah. So I'm thinking, I love that. I'm thinking about that, not just makeup or fashion or any of that. It's just lifestyle 50 plus. Yeah, because a lot of us, we get to kind of like this age and I think that, um, well, you know, they kind of call it, you know, years ago, they used to call it the midnight, the midlife crisis, right? Yeah. And um, some of us, maybe that weren't 100% and completely happy with the way our, t our lives turned out. We find that we need to um, reinvent ourselves. Yeah, always morphing and changing. And I thought that I could contribute um, something to that genre, I, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm always, I'm always looking. Hey, music. Thanks for being here, honey. Thank Hi. you. If I missed anybody, you guys, I'm looking over at the chat, but I'm also looking at the monitor and looking at Frenchie. Um, so if I missed you, I I'm really, really sorry. And I didn't mean to Bobby. Hi, honey. That avatar. My goodness. The abs. Oh, see, I'm in the 50 club. So I think, I think that that's, I mean, I'm encouraging you. I think that that might be a really great avenue to go down Frenchie because yeah. a lot, I think that a lot of us, um, I don't want to speak for everybody, but I think a lot of us, hi, Andrea. Hi, honey. Hi, everybody. I'm on my lunch break. Thanks for tuning in. Sweetheart. Oh. Um, I think a lot of us, um, some, you know, there's, there are a lot of like, I, like clock punchers, which, you know, are happy with the way they are. And then there's a lot of clock, clock punchers that are not happy the way they are. And um, I think that there's a lot of people that sometimes they need that little bit of inspiration to change um, yeah. what, what their routine is. Yeah, absolutely. Not just with careers, but for just like an overall well being of your own self. And that I've always kind of, had that, but I think that as I've gotten older, I think that it's more work. And I think that the more tips and, and ideas that people have to add it to their own lives, I think it would be good. Yeah. And I'm talking like from travel to cooking to, um, Everyday yeah. Life. yeah, running errands, yeah, going to Costco, eyebrows, and all um, appointments, doctors, yes. organization, then, everything. You know, it could be like a, it could be like a vlog style. People love vlogs. Yeah. So it could be a vlog style and it could also be um, where you have different people on different guests on that maybe have made like huge transitions in their lives. Like me doing this YouTube a yeah. year ago, um, sure. kind of stuck in a, in a reselling rut and, you know, buying storage units and ending up with so much inventory. And I'm like, what am I going to do? Like, well, yeah. like, well, you know, and, and deciding that I wanted to become a wholesaler um, instead yeah. of a reseller. There's a big difference, you yeah. know? Definitely. And, um, you know, with that being said, though, um, referring to myself as a wholesaler, when you do, when you do sell things at auction, you know, sometimes, like, um, sometimes... Sometimes things can get um, bit up, so that 
um, there may not be a lot of opportunity for reselling. And um, I'm grateful for that because this is my business and, you know, you guys are supporting me, supporting my family. Um, but I just, uh, you know, I, yeah, it's just, it's just part of business, right? It's just, uh, it's right. like, it's like me, I'll look at a storage unit and I'm like, okay, my proxy is $300. I'm not going any higher than $300. The last storage unit I bought, um, it cost me $670 wow. um, plus two days pay. Hard labor. Yeah. Two days pay to clear it out and a trip to the dump. And I got some pretty good stuff. That was the storage unit that I did um, the live auction at. Did I make back my money? No. Nope. That was a loss. Huge loss. It was a huge loss. Um, there was nothing but personal paperwork and personal stuff in those boxes. Um, it, I, I could have handed the key back to the storage facility and said, um, just keep it. It's yeah. all... It's all recent family photos and all recent stuff. So, um, you know, I, I get caught up like that too. And, and I make mistakes. And when I, you know, when I buy a storage unit and it's, and it's, uh, not what I expected or was hoping for, like, I don't go back to storage treasures and say, it, you know, the value wasn't there or, yeah. um, I continue to, I continue to buy. Yeah. Just keep. When, yeah. When you, when you buy at auction, that's the chance you get. Yeah. That's the chance that you take. And that's the chance. And I got caught up. I, I put a $300 proxy on it and I got caught up. Mm -hmm. I got caught up on the bidding of it and I, and I got burnt. Oh, well, yeah. you know, what can you do? It happens. So, um, but so, so for those of you that don't know Frenchie, <laughs> Frenchie is the real stitch. And uh, tell us a little bit about you. Well, um, I started out after I graduated college and I went into the financial world after I worked retail. So I worked retail through college. Then I went into the financial world and I um, became a businesswoman. And my dad became ill with a um, heart disease. And so I went into nursing. I left the financial world completely. I went into nursing and I um, went into heart and lung transplant. So that's where the stitch comes from. I ended up in the ER and uh, we did tons of stitches. So I would I'll always assist with the stitches. Some people like the pimple poppers. Some people like the, you know, the codes. I was the stitch. So, and I thought all of us are, we're selling stuff that's made clothing, whatever, it's all stitches. And I am, I think it's funny. So uh, keep you in stitches. It, it just came around full circle so many times. So um, unfortunately, uh, my dad did pass away. So I did leave nursing um, a year after that and um, focusing on other entrepreneur opportunities that have come my way. So um, I still resell. And um, that's a very, um, nice business that I have going on. I do FBA, Amazon, Poshmark, eBay, which I'm upset with eBay right now, but, um, why tell us, uh, uh manage payments and leaving PayPal. I think that was the worst decision and they're handling internally. And I think that PayPal is such a, it's like, it's like Kleenex. It's, it's a name brand that you relate to and everybody has it. Now they're internally handling all their payments and it's going to leave a lot of PayPal people high and dry. I don't like it. Um, so I'm emphasizing my business on FBA Amazon, which has tripled since the epidemic. Yeah. So um, I do mostly retail arbitrage. I do collect and um, sell some used items as well. So, but I love doing these auctions with Donna and I love being in the chat. So it's kind of like a fun um relaxing thing for me after a hard day of doing other things that I, I like being with all of you. So I appreciate it every time. Do you think that you'll incorporate this into your um, YouTube channel and maybe do like as an entrepreneur woman and as a, you know, 50 plus woman, do you think that you might incorporate some auctions once your once your channel um, grows to the point where. I don't know. I mean, we'll see. I, I'm, 
I'm ready to like fit that into not a box. I just want to leave it kind of casual because I think if it's casual, it's really going to do well. And 40 plus 40s are welcome as well. Anybody of any age, I mean, it's not just going to be, but it's going to be geared for um, like 50 and over. Yeah. And someone who's 40 could go in there and yeah. kind of like, this is what I have to expect 10 years from now, or, you know, that could like help them start thinking right. forward, of, you know, what, what to expect. Yeah. Hey, Jill, thanks for tuning in, honey. Yeah. Thanks for being here. I'm going to touch base on a lot of things, which I think it's going to be really good. Um, I am toward, leaning towards that. I'm definitely going to go into the reseller world with it also. So it's going to be incorporated into a lot of stuff we talk about here too. So, cause that's important to me. Yeah. And, and I, you know, one thing that my dad always told me, he was like, he, he was just blown away by how I could get something for so cheap and sell it for people that actually wanted it and were willing to pay for it. And that's the bottom line. It's so simple. So, yeah. but anyhow, that's my story and um, I'm sticking to it. That's what we need to do. Hello, <laughs> pick with joy. Welcome. Um, it's a lot of work though, as you know, because yeah. you've done some auctions and, you know, presenting the oh stuff, gosh. bringing, yeah. bringing good stuff that, you know, people want to bid on and, you know, and then like yesterday's auction, like I thought I had some like really, really great stuff that people would want. And as it turned yeah. out, people didn't really want it. You know, I got some passes and, yeah. you know, I got some single bids and, um, you know, people got some really, really great deals yesterday yeah. at my auction. Holy sure. cow. You know, lots of, um, uh, reselling opportunity. Um, yeah. so yeah, there's, so you just, yeah, you got to incorporate it all. I think, I think yeah. people will love that. All right. Well, let's do it. Should we? Yeah. All right. You're up first. Do you want to show something? No, no, no. Go ahead. And no, you go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put you on full screen. You're the guest. You're the guest. And I know that you're excited about being able to sell some stuff. So hi, Fabioso. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'm going to go ahead and let's see what fabulous things you brought. Okay. Well, the first thing I have is um, a lot of three brand new men's shirts. And these are all new with tags. They've never been out of the, of the packaging, as you can see. Um, this is Polo Ralph Lauren. It's a men's dress shirt, 15 neck, 32 sleeve. It is 100% cotton. And you can see that it's still in the packaging. It does have the um, French cuff, but it does come with a, um, a knot. So that is a pinstripe shirt with a white collar, which is um, business-like and uh, brand new. So that's the first one. We're going to start this off at um, 15 shipped. Okay. And that's number one. The second one is a Tommy Bahama uh, shirt, and the original price is on it. It is a medium, um, and it is... <coughs> I don't know if this is long sleeve or short sleeved. Okay, it's short sleeved men's um, Tommy Hill figure, new with tags, size medium, and it is like a um, golf shirt. There's the tag on it too. And it has the original crest. This this might even be vintage. This is one of the um, the older ones that has the emblem that is embroidered. So that's number two. That's a nice classic pattern. Yeah. Pretty. And the third one is a brand new Tommy Hilfiger, Tommy Hilfiger shirt. Still has the pins in it. This is also a size medium. And this is a men's plaid. So you can see the, um, the little emblem is right here. So we're going to start this off at 15 shipped. If no one else is interested or whatever, that's fine. Brand new shirts, size medium, still in the packaging. You can see. All right. Is there any interest, you guys? $15 for three men's shirts. So that's $5 each shipped. You can't go to a thrift shop and buy them for $5 each. Jill comes in at $15. Thank you, Jill. Thanks, Jill. Appreciate it, honey. So there's three men's shirts. Jill's at 15 
Polo oh. at two. How about 17? We're looking for a $17 bid on the shirts. These are great reselling. Mm -hmm. No measuring. You just lay them on the table, take a picture of them, take a picture of the tag, take a picture of the size, and list it. List it, list it, list it. Quick, easy list. And don't underestimate the power of these brands because pe people overseas want these. Oh, yeah. They do. Well, and no. Those, too. those brands have huge followers. Like they yeah. only wear those, those brands. Right. right. Any other bids? 15 for the three shirts. 17 from Susie. Thanks Susie. 19 would be your next bid. Mm -hmm. 19 is what we're looking for. Jill, let us know. 19 or out, honey. 19 from Jill. Thank you, Jill. Thanks, Susie, Jill. what do you think? 21 or out? Especially Bahama. Ah. Oh. What's that mean? Tommy Bahama? I'm oh, yeah. Tommy Bahama clothes. Yeah. They yeah. Have nice following. Yeah. Just shirt. 15. 21 is the next bid. What do you think? What do you think, Susie? Mm -hmm. You want to go for 21? 21 to Susie. Thank you, Susie. Jill, what do you think? You want to go 23 um, for the three beautiful shirts? They're good looking. Think of Christmas too, you guys. Are they all about the same size? Mediums. Yeah, yeah they're all mediums. Yeah. So look at this. We're at $21. This would be three shirts for someone, a young man who's in the business world. Mm -hmm. They're beautiful. Shipped you. to your house for a great Christmas present if you're not a um, reseller. Mm hmm so good looking. $23 to Jill. Thank you. $23 to Jill. Mama G says, I can call faster, guys. So bid quickly. <laughs> yes. Hello, I'm falling yes. asleep. <laughs> Thank you, Mama G. You're so Thank funny. You. <laughs> Susie's out. So we're going to sell it. We're going to sell it to Jill for $23. Oh, I want wow. to buy them for her son. They're so good looking. Going yes. once. We're going twice. And with a fair warning to Jill, we are... Sold, 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 sold. <laughs> used to that with me. I don't know where I, I don't know where I got that or how I started. I, saying know, I like it though. Sold, 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 sold. <laughs> to Jill for twenty three dollars. Thank you, Jill. Go ahead, show another one, and then I'll do a couple. Okay. Any crafters in the chat today? I have something a little unusual for me. So um, here we go. Now, PETA, people don't come after me because I didn't, these were already done. This is a lot of 100% real fur collars that came off of jackets or things like that. Um, this one is a, I believe this is beaver. And you can see the back of it. It has been, um, Hand sewn or sewn. Definitely vintage. Yeah, definitely vintage. These came off of a, you know, a collar or, you know, someone's um, jacket, something like that. Okay, that's the first one. This one is um, rabbit. Oh, it's rabbit. This is rabbit. And this is uh, notched out here so you can see. And I'll, I'll put it on so you can see it. Um, this one is rabbit. So this was on someone, came off of someone's. Coat. Yeah. Um, we're gonna start this off at 20. Okay. Shipped. These are hard to get. These are hard to get because of of people that aren't into fur. So um right. these are real. This one here, I'm not sure what it is, but you Let can me see you turn it around. That's mink, honey. Okay, this is that's mink. Yeah. Yeah, that's a mink one. Yep. That's mink. It's beautiful. Okay. Isn't it? So that's a third beautiful. $20 start on these. And um, they are all finished. So if you need to use them for something, they're already seamed. And the last one I have 
is also mink. It's yes. the color of mink. Yes. Um, but it does have a, a crochet um, backing to it, which is beautiful. Yep. So this is what this one looks like. So there's four total. Oh, those are beautiful. So a quick story. When um, I was in like my early 20s, my, my brother and his wife um, had bought their first home. And I was, um, I decided to make them their first, it was their first first year married together in their first home. And I um, went and I bought this luxurious red velvet and I bought um, um, uh, a red velvet fabric and mm -hmm. I bought a, an old white mink coat and I cut it all up and I made them Christmas stockings out of the luxurious red velvet, big ones, big, beautiful Christmas stockings yeah. with, with a, a tassel on the, on the foot. And then I used the white mink to trim the top of the stockings. Oh my gosh. And I lined them because I used to love to sew yeah. and, and I lined them. Oh my gosh. They came out so beautiful. Okay. And that, this is what this reminds me of. I mean, can you yeah. imagine like making Christmas stockings with the beautiful fur mm -hmm. top? Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. These are beautiful. Gorgeous. I mean, and they're so warm. I mean, they're just so pretty. Dragon Mom comes in at 20. Is there anybody else that's interested in these? You guys, there's definitely a calling for these um, in, in the crafters section of your reselling sites like Etsy. I don't know about the rules and laws about posting um, coats on, on, um, I'm not sure. On um, eBay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but. eBay, eBay, you can. eBay, you can eBay, you can. Okay, good. Hi, Sylvia. Thanks for coming in. 80 of you here this afternoon. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming in. But Frenchie, I'll tell you what, that looks beautiful on you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, you need to wear that the rest of the show. Okay. <laughs> it's hot. Um, okay. so, I, you know, I'll tell you what, I was just talking about the fact that I needed to to get some new Christmas stockings for my for my family because okay. ours got destroyed. If if I had the time, I'll tell you, I'd bid on that. But yeah. I know I, I'll never do it. Any other bids? We've got less at 20. We're going to call it. We're going to, beautiful, beautiful. We're going to call it. We're going to go once. Mama G, we're going to go twice. Oh, cool. This will be perfect. Historical clothing for different periods of different times. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah. Perfect for sure. And with a fair warning, we're sold. Sold, sold, sold. Two less. What a great deal. Talk about getting great deals at the auction. That's awesome. Thank you so much. All right. I'm going to put myself on. Yes. Thank you. And I'll show you what I've got. <clears throat> Hi, guys. Um, sorry, my shirt's a little big. Um, okay, so my first item that I'm going to show you is a piece of sterling. It's got a sterling chain on it. I don't know if it says Italy or not. Let me check and see for you guys real quick. Um, it says JJ925, and it's got the maker's mark JJ. I don't know what that is. Um, <clears throat> it's a piece of abalone. I'm going to start it at 25 and it's a piece of abalone and it's all sterling. Look at how pretty that is. Let's see if there's anything on the back of the pendant. There's a maker's mark. I don't know what that maker's mark is. And then the 925. So clear. Yeah. Isn't it great? This, yeah. this is so awesome. Um, this is beautiful. It's a beautiful piece. It's got so oh. much fire and light. It almost looks like it's, a, it's almost like an eye. It's like a three dimensional. If you see it with the marcasite all around it and the chain is really pretty. I love it. Both pieces have maker's marks on them and that's how pretty it is. And I will show you. Um, even the back is beautiful, but you can see, I got to move my camera. So it's down a little bit more, but you can see the sparkle on it. It's really pretty and has not been cleaned. 
just so that you know it has not been cleaned. And I don't know if this is true. This came, I'm not saying he's a liar. I love Chris the Goose. <laughs> but I think it was Chris the Goose that said um, that you can't harvest abalone anymore. It has become extinct. So um, these pieces are becoming more and more precious. And we have Tammy at 35. Thank you, Tammy. Tammy loves her silver. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful piece. Let me just wipe my lens. I always forget to wipe my lens before the show. We've got Tammy at 35. Rise Up says, that is true. Not that it is extinct. Oh, you can't harvest them anymore is the, is, is the um, I guess. I guess you can't. Um, who's lagging? Who said I'm lagging? Jill is lagging. Jill, are you bidding, honey? We'll wait a minute for you to go in and come back out if you want. Andrea Baker comes in at 36. Thank you, Andrea. Very beautiful. 36. And, oh, you know what? I'm on the wrong stream. Hold on. Here we go. Um, 37, 37 to it. toilet girl. Hello, toilet girl. Thanks for joining us. Toilet girls in the house. Oh, here, let me put you on. Um, I always forget I can do this. There you are. Hello, beautiful. Okay. So let's see. Tammy is out. We've got Andrea at 37. Is that right? No, I'm good now. Okay, Jill. Jill, you at work, honey? Illegal to harvest. Most were harvested off of New Zealand, but now it is illegal. Ah, that's that's interesting. Okay, 37 to Andrea. Awesome, Andrea. Yes, a lunch break. Oh, Jill, thank you so much. Thanks for those of you that are on your lunch breaks and you're spending it with Frenchie and I. We appreciate it. Right, Frenchie? Yes, we appreciate it. Thanks so much. Going twice to Andrea. I got muted somehow. Sorry. Oh, so that's okay. Go, Andrea. Go, Andrea. Go, Go Andrea. Go, Andrea. Can you hold the ship till next Thursday, please? Sure, Andrea. We're sold. Sold, sold, sold. Marilyn, hello. Okay, so what did we sell it for? Um, do you 37. remember 37 mm -hmm. to Andrea Baker F for the abalone Andrea. What are you having for lunch, Jill? Anything good? It's afternoon delight. Right. So it, next time you come down to Florida, we're going to have to get, um, Maybe Jill on board with us and have a little uh, girls weekend. That would be so much fun. I was talking to Jill about it. Three wild and crazy girls. <laughs> Marilyn, I thought that was you. The name was different, though, so I was a little confused. I, I didn't respond to it. I just saw the email. But I OK, thank you for letting me know that that was you. OK, plush lot. I have no idea who this little girl is. Um, she's doesn't have a tag. Um, you guys will have to kind of look her up and figure out who she is, but, um, that's okay. her. Okay. And she's not dirty. She just has a little, um, fuzz on her face. Um, um I don't know that one, Donna. I, I don't know either, but she doesn't have a tush tag. She's someone though. She's got to be someone because she's really well made. Okay. She's really well made, so I'm sure she's someone. She's got a little bit of red on her hat, so you might um, have to take that off. But some little girl somewhere is looking for her, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's that one. And then um, this one is a Benton bear, Matrix Benton bear. It says, it says 2008 limited edition no 2098 sorry 
2008. Oh my God, that would have been a very long time ago. 2098. So there's a little Benton bear. If anybody knows who. That's a good shape for how old it is. Right? It's like brand new. Um, This one, I'm removing this off the, t off the tail. This one is a Webkins. It's a little pink pony. Aw. Little pink pony. And next we have. Right, Marilyn. Because hmm? that's the doll behind you. <laughs> my new friend. She's someone I'm going to tell all my problems to. Here's the Disney. Um, is this Squirt? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I love him. <laughs> this is Squirt. You guys, look who else is behind me. It's Kermit. <laughs> Kermit the Frog. Kermit. <laughs> Kermit, I love him. Yes, that's and that's my new friend right there. Mm. I have to name her, you guys. We have to come up with a name for her. I do not like the doll, Mama G says. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but there's Squirt. He's adorable. We all love Squirt from the movie. He's so awesome. Cute. So cute. Here's a Godiva bear. Um, must have come with Godiva chocolates in it. I need to walk someone, away. someone could still buy him and yeah. with Godiva chocolates. I don't know if there's a calling for him. Um, this one is don't know this name. You'll have to look it up. Pawson Claws and Company. Pawson Claws and Company. Brand that looks like a nice bear. Yeah. It's like brand new condition. 25 to start on the plush friends. Okay, and this one we all know, Aeropostel, and it's a really cute bear with a scarf. So cute. Aeropostel scarf, adorable. That would, that's okay. a really cute one. Ginger Ann is in 25. Oh, thank you, Ginger Ann. And then, okay, here we go again. I might have to go change this top. It's too big on me and it keeps oh, moving around. But it's fine. Who's this? That's Pluto? Yes, that's Pluto. I know. There's a big thing between Goofy and Pluto. It's That's Pluto. <laughs> Goofy always has that little hat on. I'm never, James, I'm never going to get it straight. So just forget it. <laughs> forget it. I'm never going to get it straight. It's Whoa, Look at, are you kidding me? Look at this. Oh. <gasps> Oh my God, this is so adorable. Okay, it's a Build-A-Bear. It's a Build-A-Bear. Mm -hmm. And she has a turkey. And it's dressed like a pilgrim. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Are you <laughs> kidding? I should have done this as a one-off. This is so stinking. I have, out of all the Build-A-Bears I've gotten, I have not got one with a pilgrim outfit on. Hilarious. Oh my God, it's so cute. I love it with the little turkey. <laughs> that is so cute. It oh is. God. Especially to put out for uh, Thanksgiving decorations. Mm -hmm. So cute. And then here we go. James in at 30. <laughs> Susie's in at 32. Aw. Uh, <laughs> this one's really cute. It's got a boring. smiling face. I don't ever see them with a smiling face like that. And it's sparkly. It's a T.Y. Dory, she's so cute. Ty. Oh, my gosh, you guys. This one is amazing. Oh, my God. It's so it. cute. I wish I had seen this one. I would have put it behind me for Thanksgiving decorations. Yeah, that is so adorable. <laughs> I think it's adorable. <laughs> so cute. Okay. So you've got Disney. You've got Build-A-Bear. You've got a couple of brand names that I don't know. you got the Godiva, um, Squirt. Love Squirt. Oh, my God. He's so cute. Yes, I love his eyes. Susie's in at 40. Love Squirt. That is a good lot. I love it. And this Aer Aeropostale is awesome. So mm -hmm. pretty. All right, I'm going to put her away. She's so cute. Oh, my gosh. Ginger Ann at 42. So cute. I love her. And then this one here, it has the, this one has the nice tag on it, and it's nice, the nice quality. So that's something that you have to look up. This is bread and butter. 
bread and butter. And then JC Penny, you know, is out of business. So this one might be part of a collection. Mm -hmm. you no. Know? And then this one is intriguing. I don't know who she is, but she's she's gotta be someone. Oh, someone put polish on her on her. Oh on her. <laughs> I know, so she might be ruined unless unless it's supposed to be like that. You guys are gonna have to look it up because both hands have polish on it. I, if it's a collectible, no one will care. Yeah, I don't know if someone did that or if she comes like that. But look, guys, we'll have to look it up. I'll have to look it up. I'm not sure. So Ginger Ann is at 42. All right, Ginger Ann, thank you. Any other takers? Definitely worth. I mean, that is a good. That build the bear alone is that. You know, so cute. They must, for that outfit, they probably, they probably in the store, they probably paid close to 40 just for that build a bear. Yeah, and you can't get them anymore. So 42. Someone said in the chat that they opened one, opened up one of the build a bears near their house. So I don't know. Um, I haven't had time to look to see, but I, I know that they uh, filed chapter 11. Yeah. I don't know how they opened up but they said that in the chat yeah okay we're gonna close it to ginger and we're going once to ginger in we are going twice to ginger in Ooh, and Carla snipes in at 44. She's in at 44. Carla likes the Thanksgiving one. Sniper, sniper. No, I don't know which one she likes. It's just the one I like. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> it's cute. I, right? I like the Aeropostale one too. I love yeah, it. Yeah, it's pretty. Mm -hmm. 46 to Ginger Ann. Thank you, Ginger Ann. You guys, I'm going to be shipping all afternoon today, so watch your emails for um, invoices. I am just going to invoice and ship, and please just pay when you can as soon as you get it. 46 to Ginger. Hope everyone is doing okay. We are Toilet Girl now that you're in the chat, honey. <laughs> 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 Carla is out. Ginger Ann is at 46. And Carla's out. Carla's out. We're going to call it to Ginger Ann. We're going to go once to Ginger Ann. And we're going to go twice to Ginger Ann. Who's Scarlett? Bobby's saying hi to Scarlett. Is there a Scarlet in the house? You guys, if anybody's walked, watching in the background and you want to register to bid, we do ask for registrations and that's what turns you blue as soon as we receive the registration. So um, going twice, Toilet Girl is Scarlet. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. Oh, I must have missed that somewhere along the line. Okay. Oh, I didn't know. Okay, sold, sold, sold to Ginger Ann for 40 46. $46. Thank you. Mm -hmm. To Ginger Ann. Hey, Ginger Ann. Awesome. Yeah. You got something? Yeah, go ahead. I did too. So go ahead. I did too. Okay. All right. I have um <clears throat> a purse lot for mm -hmm. all of you for the bag ladies or bag men. Um, we have men that love bags. <laughs> yeah. True. Okay. We're going to start this off at, um, we'll start it off at 25 shift. Okay. okay. This first one is a um, gap and it is a messenger style bag. There's the emblem. Camouflaged. And, hmm, camouflage. And it is a messenger style bag and it has this. And it has tons of room in here, tons of pockets and side pockets and a back area here that snaps. This is so well made. It's all canvas, adjustable strap on the side, has clips that you can add things to. So this is the first one. This is so cute. 
So it's got an army fatigue um, vibe going on with this, and it is secure. It does buckle in the front, but the inside is perfectly clean. And so that's the first one. Hey, John, Dad's Vintage Garage is in the house. Thank you for joining. Thank you for being here. Hi. Um, the second one is a Le Sac. And oh, yeah. Very popular. This is pebbled leather, and it looks, it's showing up pink, but it's actually like a coral color. Yeah, it's coming so, up coral. Yeah, it, looks it like is. Coral red. All right, and this has got an adjustable um, strap on it as well with a shoulder um, pad there. And on the inside is this. It's kind of unique because this is a closure right here, and this is magnetic. Mm -hmm. You pop that up, and then it zips. So you get all of this extra storage in here if you have a bigger item that you want to put in here. But this Brilliant. is like super clean on the inside of this one too. It's so, so soft, I can't even show you. But this is the inside. And Brilliant. the leather on this is just unbelievable. Has a little phone pocket in the back. Mm -hmm. So cute. So this is all 100% leather, pebble, the sack. Um, this next item is La Sport Sack, and this is a navy duffel bag. This is very sought after, and people, there's a big following for these. There is. This, yeah. is, this is just your standard adjustable um, uh, duffel bag, and in here it's all nylon. These are indestructible. Maybe that's why, because you can travel with these. But inside, it's like perfectly new, side pockets. On the side of the duffel, there's so much room in this little bag, and you can, you can, um, you can compact it if you're traveling and you need extra, extra space. So that's the third one. And then, the oh, last Heidi, I got your package uh, apparently a couple of days ago, and I haven't had a chance to even open it, if you can believe it. So I'll try to get to it this afternoon. But thank you. Okay, and the last item in this lot is a Brighton wallet on the go bag. Oh, and we've got okay. Some suede here. This is all leather. You've got um, silver embellishments on it in the front. This is a compact purse. It is a crossbody, and it's adjustable. So you open it up. It's magnetic in the front. This is so well made, and then it has another one right here. So then you open it up, and there's all of your cards. Oh, I love that. Yeah, and you can put, you know, your driver's license. And then in here, there's a secured pocket also with a zipper and then more storage in this part of it. So you can fill this with tons of stuff. So it's secure also. And then in the back, it has your usual um, pocket, but it's so clean, all leather, suede in the front. Very pretty. Thanks. Mama G comes in at 25. Thank you. Yes, I love that. That is so pretty. Another big secure pocket on the other side. Awesome. So that's the lot. Brighton and the sports sack, duffel bag. Mm -hmm. Great lot, you guys. Look at all these great bags. And you know, anybody who's yeah. bought anything from Frenchie, it is like brand new stuff. Oh, thank you. And a Gap Messenger. Beautiful. And that is, it's a floral pattern, but it looks it like is. at first, at first I thought it was uh, camouflage. Well, it's camo color. Yeah. It's camo colors, yeah. but it's floral. But it is like girly. It's yeah. Girly. It's so, it's really so great. yeah. It's just so cute. Farmer mm -hmm. wants to know, will his mascara and blush fit in it? It will, especially the peach and the pinks. I know you like those, Farmer. So those are fun. A <laughs> couple of your favorite color tones right there, Farmer. Yeah. All right. So we've got one, two, three, and four. Four great bags, $25 shipped. We're looking for another bid. Mama G has it for $25. we are going to call it to the... Wow, a 4.3 earthquake just hit Florida Panhandle. Wow. wow. Huh. Oh my gosh, Cindy Rosen. She sold one of my belts for $27.99. Those were thank you so much for saying that, but I appreciate it because I I'm just so glad that you were able to make something out of those because the quality on those was so good. I really appreciate that. Thanks. 
Yeah, and you know what? I just want to I want to say to Christy as she says that is such a steal. Wow. This is a great reseller opportunity lot right here, you guys. You can't go to a thrift store and the time, the energy, the gas, the money to buy these purses the in this condition. So, when I go out there and I see people like in other chats and not to bring drama to my channel at all you guys, but I do have to get this off my chest cuz I am human when i see other people putting in chats those auction channels that are selling things don't cater to resellers and their prices are too high well ding 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 bingo look at this lot where are you going to go and get this lot at that at that price it's such a steal so yeah let's sell it let's sell it to mama g so sell it sell it sell it hey thelma hi sweetheart thank you for being here Christmas presents for my daughters. They're going to love them. Oh, yeah. Don't forget, you guys, do your Christmas shopping. QV Donna over here. QVC, QV Donna. <laughs> QV Donna. Oh, gosh. Michelle comes in at 26. Susie oh. comes in at 30. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Mama G. <clears throat> this could even be a slash diaper bag if you know anyone who's expecting, because there are pockets in here for like bottles on the side and yeah morph this into something else but it is so nice I awesome. i'm just gonna keep it for myself but you you can't keep everything carlos is donna shopping network i know <laughs> i know yeah and you know like i was saying yesterday with some of the bags that i was selling yesterday it's nice to have a bag in your car with like a bunch of things that you need like nowadays a mask a bottle of water some wipes oh, yeah. you know, it helps keep your car nice and tidy keep it in the back seat and then you know a little thing of peanuts or something you know when you're on the go and you're on the run and you need to get a little snack it's it's nice to have a little bag um, in the back seat with a bunch of Definitely. things that you might need. Definitely. Yeah. This um, does have just a little bit of wear right here, just so you know. It has a little bit of wear right there. You can see it. Okay, we've got Mama G at 32. We're looking for 34 is the next bid on this lot, you guys. 34 would be the next bid. These are so expensive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Toilet girl, some toilet paper in case you go somewhere and they don't have tissue paper in the bathroom. That's very important too. <laughs> leave it to mom, leave it to toilet girl to, to granola bars and band-aids is another one. Susie's out. Michelle's at 34. Yeah, granola bars are really important too. Absolutely. Yep. And they say, don't leave bottled water in the car because it turns rancid and the plastic melts into it. Well, let me tell you something. Way before that bottle ended up in your car, it was on a hot tractor trailer. It was in a hot uh, storage facility. It was in a warehouse. So being in your car is not going to change the molecular structure of the water. It's already been changed way back when. So don't believe that myth either. <clears throat> All right, Mama, G. Mama G's at 36. Okay, okay. we're going to call it. We're going to go once. We're going to go twice. And with a fair warning to Mama G, our in-house moderator for today. Thank you so much, Mama G. We are sold, 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 sold to Mama G. Thanks, Mama G. I appreciate it. $36. Enjoy this. These are awesome. Yeah, I love that. I love that brown one is my favorite. It's really pretty. Yeah. Because when I go, when I go like run to the supermarket, I I, I always just grab my wallet, my little wristlet, um, which is my, you yeah. know, my money and my credit cards and debit card and whatever else. Okay, go ahead, honey. Okay, I have a one-off. Just a one-off. And this is because Donna let me on her show. So actually it's a one-off with a bonus. Oh. I have a Boston Bruins hockey sweatshirt. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Bags. Okay, we're going to start this off at um, 30 shipped. This is um, has the tags on it. That's beautiful. And it is a hoodie, and it has the classic um, laced um, lace up in the front. 
and um, everything's embroidered. And this is Bruins, Boston Bruins hockey. Oh, so cool. I love and, that. Yeah. And this good is a solid um, brand. 47 brand, James says, is a good solid brand. Look at the quality of it, James. It's beautiful. It is. Everything's embroidered on it. And the thickness of it is just incredible. And this is the um, NA, it's official NHL yeah. merchandise. And, and that, is the big is the big B in front of it embroidered on there too? Yeah, it's embroidered. Everything's embroidered. Wow! Holy cow! That's beautiful. That is so beautiful. Okay. What size is it? Can you see it? Oh, yeah. it is a large. It's a large. A large. This is a. Um, Wes comes in at thirty. Thanks, Wes. Beautiful, beautiful. It's an awesome jacket, an awesome sweatshirt. And, okay, since we've got Wes, I have, I'm going to throw in as a bonus, a Boston Red Sox pennant. Oh, my gosh. The baseball. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Love my Boston. It's a mini one. It's not a full size. So if, you, if you're not sure about, like, you can see, like, my hand right here of how the size of it. It's a mini but it is embroidered. It is like an official, um, um, I don't know. It's uh, just, just seeing that up on the screen makes me yeah. feel so homesick. I want to go oh, home to Boston. Sorry. <laughs> I know. I want to go home to Boston so bad. So this is in, this is a freebie in there with the, um, with the Jersey. It's actually not a Jersey. I don't want to say that it's a hoodie because it doesn't have the name on the back. Which is nice because you can keep this forever. You don't have to, or if you're reselling, you don't have to worry about, excuse me, the person that is uh, no longer playing for the team. So this is endless. You could have this forever. I do, Casual Flipper. I miss Boston so bad. I'm, I'm trying really, really hard to try to maybe bring the family up there this fall. We'll see. Oh, and Carla says, I'm surprised the doggy didn't come out. Carla, he's right here at my feet. He is like right on my feet. He does not leave my size, my side always, always here. Okay, we've got Wes at 30. This is a steal. That's a stunner of a sweater. It is. It is so beautiful. It is. It's awesome. It is. Marilyn says that jersey is so beautiful. I love the lace up front. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I love that style. It's called Lacer. Oh, is that what it's called? I guess that's what he said. But it's Bruins on both sides of each. Okay, rise up. It's a size large. It's a large. It's a general it's large. large. I'll show you on me. Yeah, it's a big large. Men's large. Yeah, it's a large. It's a good size large. Mm -hmm. And the material on it is, it's got to be a lot of cotton. It's. It's 80-20. Yeah, it's beautiful. All right, Wes is going to steal it for $30. This is a great deal. This plus the pendant. Oh, Any other bids? We're looking for 32 If I liked my daughter-in-law more, I would do it for her. Oh, my God, Heidi, you're so funny. <laughs> we won't tell her. No. She doesn't watch my channel. <laughs> Heidi, you're hysterical. All right, we're going to go twice. <laughs> yeah. Heidi, we're going to go three times. Go, Wes. Go, Wes. Go, Wes. Go, Wes. Go, Wes. Go, Wes. <gasps> Darling, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Darling. The swoop. Okay, on eBay for 129 with watchers. Go, darling. Go, darling. Go, darling. Go, Wes. Go, Wes. Hello, Christopher. Hi, honey. Hi, I love a unique store. Want to come in and show my support. Thank you so much, everybody. Please go over and give a thumbs up while we're waiting for this to close. I appreciate it. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Let's see. Where are we at? See? Look at They're doing it. We're at 45. Thumbs up. Thumbs up, you guys. Come on over. I'm looking at it. We're at 45. Who else needs to give me a thumbs up? 46. Thank you. 
Yes. Wes is at 35. Thank you, Wes. Thanks, Wes. Come on over, you guys. I'm watching the counter. 47. Thank you. There are how many people in the chat? 82 peeps are watching, and only half of you have come over and give me a, given me a thumbs up. What? Please. Pretty please. It doesn't cost anything. Wes is at 40. 51. What? Wait a minute, what, 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 what are, you, what, are you, what are you doing that for? I'm just dancing because it's an auction. Oh, 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 let me see. I saw Wes, okay, <laughs> at 40. Hold on, I'm going back to my um, <laughs> counter. All right, we're at 59, it's climbing, 59 thumbs up. Can I get 10 more? Can a girl get a 10 more? Can a girl get 10 more, please? Weston's at 45. All right, I'm at 61 thumbs up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Austin. 63 <laughs> thumbs up. Let me begging me for thumbs up. Is that is that considered e-begging? Yes. It is? <laughs> to beg for thumbs up, is it considered e-begging? No. E-begging is money. You sure? Yeah. It could be thumbs up too, though. There's no shame in begging for um, thumbs up. Thumbs up? Yeah. It's totally acceptable. All right. Is it e-begging? No. Because it, well, they're, they're writing it. No. The unique store says, I love your auction. I want to be like you. Aw. That's the funniest <laughs> thing to say. That Ooh. is. I'm still only at 66, you guys. I'm going to keep e-begging until we get to at least 70. 75. <laughs> no, it's called call to action. Yes. Thelma, you have to look at your um, schedule because you're my next victim on my channel. Bum, bum, bum. Dun, dun. When's, when's my next auction? What's today? Thursday? Friday night I go on with tea. That's our night together. Friday night. And then Sunday, I'm on with T. Maybe Monday, Thelma. What do you think? Let's Monday, go. Monday, Monday. Once to Larry. Monday, Monday. All right. Oh. All right. I didn't get my 70. I got 67. But I got three thumbs down. All right. I better stop. Really? Here. Yeah. Yep. Somebody who's watching decided to go over and give me a thumbs down. It's all right. They can they can keep that. Wow. Harsh. Ow. All right. Sorry. That's what I get for e-begging. Going once to Larry. Larry's stealing this for $47, Larry. I love it. The swooper. Evenings. Yes. I'm working during the day. Thank you. I'd love to. Let's see. Monday night. Yeah. Monday night would be fine because uh, T doesn't go on Monday nights. So we can do Monday night, Thelma. I'll do a stream. We'll go on together Monday night. Yeah, she takes Monday nights off. Right, Chris. So plan it, all right? I'll text you, but we'll plan it. You guys, Thelma's going to be on the show Monday night. Whoop, whoop, whoop. It's going to be a party. Party. Okay. Sold, sold. Sold, sold to Larry for $47. Yay. Awesome. Thanks, Larry. Awesome, awesome. Thanks for bidding, Wes. All right, I'm coming on. Thank you. All right, you guys. Let's see what I have here. I did I did do the scratch test on um I did do the scratch test on the pearl and it is real. It measures nine, so it's 18 inches. And I'll show you how I have no idea, but maybe now that Thelma's here and Tammy's here, and we'll see who else is here that knows stones. I don't know what this stone is. But you'll see how pretty it is in one second. That's what I have. And the pearl does come out, come gritty. So I'll get my magnifier and I'll show you. What's that, you guys? What kind of stone is that? 
Donatella, you get so many people in. I have no idea how you did it, but I want to be like you. You are great. I would love to be on with you and teach me and show me. All right, Unique Store, send me an email. Send Aww. me an email. That's let so me know. Yeah, let me know. We, we'll talk about it. Thank you for the compliment. That's so nice. That makes me feel so good. Very nice. It's not easy. It's not easy, just so that you know. It's 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 a lot of work. It, okay, so there it is. 25 to start. Um, it's a, what is it? It's an agate. Oh, a dyed okay. blue agate. Druzy. Looks like a agate go, go D. Goad. Goad. I don't know. Or geode. Geode. Perlini's in the house. Hello, Perlini. Hey, Perlini. Hi. Thank you for being here. Okay. If there's no interest, I'm going to pass on it. We're looking for a $25 start on it. If not, we're going to pass. Pretty turquoise. It's a dyed agate. Is it? West comes in at 25. He's going to snatch this up. No other interest in it. Pretty, pretty, pretty. We're going to let it go. We're going to let it go. Everybody done? Oh, Perlini, I love the cherries in the in the hearts. It's so pretty. Nice combination. All right, we're going to go once to Wes. Nobody else wants to come in. It's going to get the beautiful piece for $25. We're going to go twice to Wes. Thank you, Perlini. Blue dyed agate. Connie comes in at 27. It's pretty, it's it's a good size piece. You see how big it is? It's gorgeous. Yeah, it's a really nice size piece. Whoops. Hold on. I'm losing something. Okay. Wes is at 30. I'll give you another close-up of it. And there you have it. Wes is at 30. Connie, let us know, honey. Let us know, Marilyn. It's yours, Wes. All right, Wes gets it for $30. We're going to go once. Unless there's any other interest, we're going to go twice. And with a fair warning to Wes for thirty dollars, ding, 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 ding. Wes is the winner for thirty dollars. Nice deal, the winner, Wes. Good job, Wes. Lot number three for Wes for thirty dollars. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to do this purse. I'm going to start this at 30. It is a coach. Mm. Yeah. And it's got some really nice hardware and it's a beautiful copper color. Mm. Um, and I'll show you the inside. And there is your coach stamp on it. And here is your coach certificate of authenticity. And there's your lining spotless. And there's your bottom corners. See, now I know what they ask for. Mm -hmm. This is all the things that they want to see when they're bidding. 
Okay, so basically, um, excellent condition, I would say. And the color is amazing for the for the um, for the fall and for the winter. It does have the tag on it. I love that color. Isn't that a beautiful color? Mm -hmm. Yep, it's got a little bit of a sheen to it. Thirty dollars to start. We have Susie at thirty. Any other takers? How pretty that is for the holidays or for a gift. You definitely could give this as a gift. It looks like copper. It is. It is. It's like a copper color. Even with jeans, Donna. I mean, you can casual that too. I know. It's so pretty. That goes with everything. Perlini says she has one in that color. And the hardware is in excellent condition. No tarnishing. You can see the craftsmanship. That's how you can always tell that you're looking at the real thing. You see the finished edges. We're looking for 32. The finished edge lines on it. Well, we're 32 for sure. No, Carla, I'm not touching her. <laughs> She's staying right there. Ooh, her eyes are different. I'm not touching her. My daughter came in with the sage and went all around with sage. <laughs> She's like, she was so creeped out over it. She's just going to sit there and watch you guys. She looks like she's looking over there, but mm -hmm. when I look at her, she's looking right at me. Like she's, her eyes are like right on me when I look at her. Okay. Um, you have to see on your screen who came in at 36. Okay. Paula's in at 38. Okay. Yeah. Um, a toilet girl, the girls are doing great. They're, um, they are, you know, home for school. They're not in the high school because the high school, um, has not decided when or if they're even opening. So they are um, basically in these classroom sessions. Um, I don't, I don't know, Perlini. It's a um, N A P E R kids. N A P E R kids. Nancy, you're lagging, honey. You're lagging way, way behind. Michelle Trout is at forty. Just refresh, Nancy. Yep, you need to refresh, honey. And I would rock that with my leotard and fur boots, Christopher <laughs> says. <laughs> oh, Christopher, you're so funny. Let's call it. Let's call it. Let's call it. Any other interest? We're looking for 42. 42 is the next bid. $42 is the next bid. Bobby comes in at 45. Thank you, Bobby. And it does, you know, you guys always hear me say I'm partial to the purses that have the zipper mm -hmm. um, for safety reasons. And I think that this is a nice size because you can use it on your shoulder. You know, it can be a shoulder bag. You can keep it tight under your arm, you know, so that it's secure. And um, it's, Paula's out. it's not too big. Hmm? Paula's out. So who do we have? It's not too big that it's um, you, you're going to overstuff it with stuff. It's just really stylish. Okay. So we're going to call it to Bobby. Same, Bobby. I'm the same. Hers Bobby. Is my yep, Bobby's at 45. We're going to go once. We're going to go twice. Mm -hmm. And with a fair warning... We are sold, 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 sold to Bobby <laughs> for $45. Yay, Bobby. Yay, Bobby. Yay, Bobby. Okay. 
This is my next lot. I have to tell you a story on these. I actually have lots of these, lots and lots of them um, that came out of a storage unit. Um, you know my friend Jenea who comes in? She, oh, yeah. she picked up some at a, at a thrift store. She found, and I'm not saying it's in here. I have not looked any of these up. She found a My Little Pony at a thrift store that she looked up and sold it for like $120. So you guys take the time. If you've got another device, type in My Little Pony and then go to highest sold. And I'm not saying that one is in here, but these have been in a mini storage for a while and highest sold and look and see what My Little Pony sell for. I mean, they're, they sell for, you, you don't know. Um, I, I would have no idea. I've sold My Little Ponies that I found in mini storages before. Um, not to talk them up. I just wanna just give you, you know, the idea to go and take a look. Well, there's a huge falling for those, Donna. So, I mean, I Is guess particular a, ones that are rare or that they were misstruck um, whenever they were making them that makes them rare. That's, I mean, I don't know much about them, but I've heard that. Yeah, I don't know much about them either. I just know Janaea called me and she's like, you're not going to believe this. I got a My Little Pony in a toy bag and blah, blah, blah. So, anyway, yeah. let's, I'm going to start this at 25. Mm-hmm. $25 for the My Little Ponies. Who wants to take a chance? Who wants to buy a lottery ticket? Who wants to buy a lottery ticket? Nikki D, hello, sweetheart. My grandkids collect them. Tony Dodge wants to buy a lottery ticket. Yeah. It is less. Thelma wants to buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> That's what I call it when I don't know, like, I don't know what these are worth. To me, it's yeah. like going out and buying three $10 scratch tickets because right. you just don't you just know. Take a chance. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. Les is going to buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> Tony Dodge. Yeah. And we have an auction, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. We have an auction. Thank you. This is the first auction of the day. And first auction. I always say that when there's three people bidding, we have an auction. You oh, know, sometimes okay. you just, yeah, two people going back and forth. Okay. To me, this, this is an auction. Yeah, I like that too. Yeah, three people, it's an auction. We have an auction. <laughs> I love auctions. I love the head toss with that. You know, it's it goes with it. What's that? An the auction? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I keep forgetting I can keep you on the screen. Did I do that? Did I go on auction? <laughs> yeah, like, got some swag to it, you know? <laughs> That's so funny. All right, I should probably hold it up closer so you can have a better look. Okay, Thelma's in at 44 and um, Les is out. And my 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 thing broke. Oh, is that mm. Les? Or is it plastic? No, this one's no plexiglass. All right, Tony Dodge is out. Um, All right, Thelma's in at forty-four. All right, Thelma. Who remembers the song? Do you remember? What? My little pony, my little oh. pony. Did your daughter play with My Little Ponies? Yes. When I opened up my, I've told this story before. When I opened up my thrift store, um, you know, years ago, I said to the girls, I said, clean out your room and give me all the toys that you don't want anymore. We're going to donate them to, to the thrift store, which was my thrift store. Right. And so the girls cleaned out their rooms and they came down with all of the stuff and it was all their My Little Ponies. And I'm like, no, yeah. not My Little Ponies. Really? I was so upset. They were like surrendering the line, My Little Ponies. So I did put them in a big 30 gallon tote, the castles and all the My Little Ponies. And I do have them saved under the stairs. I have the My Little Ponies mm -hmm. from the girls and I have all the Thomas the Trains from the from the boys, they had a huge collection of Thomas the Train. Those are the only two things that I cha I saved from their childhood. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm gonna just save them for their kids or whatever. So, That's um, so nice. yeah. I okay, have so let's close it. We're gonna go once. Hi, Gianna. And hey, Gianna, little white man, welcome. Thank you for coming in. Means a lot to me. And we're gonna go twice. 
Oh, we're sold. We're sold. I didn't even know. <laughs> Mama G. Oh, to Thelma for 44. Mama G to Thelma. Thank you, Thelma. I hope awesome. you find your treasure in here, honey. You'll Thank find you. a good one. Thank you so much. I have some old Thomas the Train. Yeah, so my Thomas the Trains are 20 years old, the ones that belong to the boys. So, mm -hmm. yeah, pretty old. Okay, do you want to um, come on and sell something? I have one, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I have a lot of um, concert tees and um, kind of like collectible type tees. So let me know what you think. I know Larry's here, so I wanted to um, see what he thought about this. Yes, Thelma. Thank you for the reminder, honey. I'm going to put it right on here. Less $10. Um, this is um, a really old uh, Star Trek Mirror Mirror t-shirt. It is, um, it's in really good shape. There's no holes on it, but there, the, um, the tag, um, size is worn off. So I don't know what size it is. I would say it's a large. Okay. If you look at it, but the colors are still really bright on it. So that's the first one. Star Trek mirror, mirror. And the second one, uh, we're going to start this off at, um, 20 shipped. Um, this is an extra large, and this is old because you can tell by the um, print on it, and it might be um, distressed on purpose, but um, if you want to look at it and let me know what you think, it says, trust me, I'm a doctor, and it's Dr. Frenchy, Pepper. Frenchy, do you know how to check the sleeve for the double? Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's a double stitch, so double? it's okay. not old. Sorry, I forgot about that. Um so this is savvy. This is extra large. It's 50, 50 cotton and polyester. Um, but it says, trust me, this is a Dr. Pepper, which people love Dr. Pepper. If you don't want to buy this for yourself. So that's number two, extra large. I'm going to step away for a moment and go get a couple of plush lots. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So that's number two. The third one in this lot is, um, no, not single stitch. Sorry, Connie. Um, I'll let you know if I get one though. Um, this one, this one is single stitched. Um, this is bravado. It's 50, 50 cotton and polyester. It's guns and roses like the, um, Los Angeles paradise city. And this is single stitched. So if you want to take a look and see, let me try and get it to focus. Um, oh no, no, this is double, sorry. Um, it's gray, it was hard to see it. But this is uh, Guns N' Roses. The size on this, I think I said is, or I didn't say, this is a men's small. And that is the graphics on it, Guns N' Roses, great group. That was number three. Number four of this lot is a Disney t-shirt. It's a large. And this is um, Lion King. Colors are still really good on it. Lion King size men's large. Oh, we have Jonathan in at 30. Thank you, Jonathan. Here's the Disney shirt that's number four no cracks on this either it's the um the screening on this is still really in good shape um number five is a 2x burnout shirt and this is um aerosmith so this you would layer up or just wear it like that i believe it's a men's um 2x it is um aerosmith name brand and that is the 2X label. And this is the logo on Aerosmith t-shirt. Pretty cool. Very lightweight. And it's red with a black burnout. So that's that one. 35 to Julie Morris. Thank you. Um, number six is a old um, concert tee. It's Anvil is the um, name brand of the t-shirt. It is a men's medium and it is BB King. And 
great colors on it. And on the back are all of the um, cities for this tour in 2013. So those are all the cities uh, from BB King concert. So this is an official concert tee for BB King. Are you okay? Yes, we're doing great. Julie's in at 35. Okay, I'm gonna go run into the garage real quick. I'll be right back. Sure, sure no problem. Last one is Marvel. And this is an extra large uh, men's Marvel Captain America tank top. And you can see here, this is in really good shape. No cracking in the screen print or in the star in the front. So not, not just patriotic, but it's um, it's a Marvel, extra large, really good shape, tank top. Jonathan's out. So we've got the Marvel tank top, extra large. We have got the BB King official concert tour t-shirt with the dates on the back. If you're a reseller, I mean, if someone was interested in that, that would probably be a good thing. Thanks, Mama G. Um, Julie M is in 35. Connie's in at 37. Aerosmith. Nothing on the back. So that was three. Lion King is a four. Official Lion King. And this is a small Disney. Or I'm sorry, large. Sorry about that. Guns and Roses is number five. Paradise City, Los Angeles. Very cool. And this is the small bravado, small. Hi, Joyce. Number six is the Dr. Pepper t-shirt, Julie Morris in at 40, thank you. This is a thicker t-shirt, this is really well made. Trust me, I'm a doctor, Dr. Pepper. Just a gray t-shirt and this is um, a men's extra large. And Connie's out. Thanks, Connie. So Julie's in at 40. And the last one is the Star Trek one, which is a super soft t-shirt with mirror, mirror, Star Trek. And that's it. That's the whole lot. One, two, three four, five, six, seven t-shirts in the lot. Kind of a mishmash of a lot of different things, but something for everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're gonna call it $40 to Julie M. Going once, anybody in it 42 for this whole lot of t-shirts. Going twice to Julie M. Thanks, Julie. Last and final call for $40. And we are sold, 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 sold to Julie Morris for $40. Thank you, Julie. I appreciate that so much. I hope you enjoy it. Um, that is, thank you very much. We'll do... Um, one more while Donna is putting together a few things. And I have one more lot to show you. And it's kind of like I said, it's a little different than what I normally would sell. But I'm gonna start this off at 20 shipped. There are five items in this and it's kind of like a toy collectible lot. So let me know what you think about this. I know a lot of people collect some of these things, but this is the um, little baby uh, Jolly Green Giant before he grew up. I guess it's Sprout, maybe. Um, on the back, I was looking for a date on it, but I um, could not see a date on it anywhere. But that's the first item. 
Oh, thank you for putting in my uh, email, Mama G. I appreciate it. Oh, Sprout. Thank you, Carla. That's what I thought. So this is part of the uh, Libby uh, series. Looks how cute he is. But he's all plastic. His head does move back and forth. Some people collect these. But this is the back. He's got, he has all really good coloring. None of it's rubbed off. He does have a little spot there, but I think that's how he was originally. You're right, Carla, late 60s, early 70s. And he's in great shape. He's not tacky or anything, how plastic um, gets real funny after so long. But um, that's the first item. And the second item and third item, and I think... Uh, Thanks, Perlini. I think they're cute, too. Um, I think 20 shipped is what we're going to start this out at because they are collectible. Oh, down in the valley, Jolly Green Giant, right. I've got um, Mr. and Mrs. Pillsbury Doughboy. And we've got Mrs. And she's kind of has some issues. She's got a little pink spot on the back. She's actually got a couple pink spots. Um, I'm not sure if that's actually in the plastic, but it's kind of looked like a pen got into someone's bag and kind of leaked a little bit. She has a few small little blemishes on her face, um, but I do have the set and um, I'm going to look for a date on here is 1972. So Mrs. Pillberry is 1972. And I, I don't know if she'll clean up or not with this little spot on the back here. It almost looks like marker, um, but I didn't try anything. So it's auction as is, but it does say Pillsbury on the back here, 1972, right there. Yeah. Okay, so that's her. And Mr. Pillsbury is um, 1971. So these are very vintage. Thanks, Christopher, for 20. And um, his eyes are in extremely good shape because whenever these get old, this is what I was told, that these, these wear off. And you can see his eyes are in perfect shape. Now, he is a little, um, you know, he needs cleaned up a little bit. But he's not worn anywhere. He um, uh, just needs a little cleaning up. His head does um, move back and forth. Um, Mrs. does too. Her head moves also. But I have the pair, which is kind of rare. I mean, you see a lot of these, but Mrs. is is hard to get. Thanks, Joy, for 24. So that's two and three out of this lot. All right, I'm back. Thank honey. you. Are you good? Did you get everything? Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I have the, the last toy I have is um, a fidget. I don't know if you've seen these ever, but. Um, let me get this off. Um, this is a purple. It's a little um, mechanical toy, and he goes around on these wheels. It did work. I'm almost positive it does work. His whole body is soft, so he does dance, and he makes faces. His face will change. And um, this is the cutest little toy. Um, Connie's in at 26. Thanks, Connie. Um, but it does, it is battery, battery operated. It was mine for my daughter and it did work. So it is a little heavy, but, um, so this, and then with this, I have the interchangeable antennas. So you can mix and match the antennas. These things pop off. And you can, these are brand new in the box. So you can change them and accessorize them and make them real funky and, and fun. So that is um, four and five items out of this lot. So Joy's in at 28. Oh, we've got Christopher in at 30. Thank you. So we've got the fidget and the fidget accessory. And then we've got Sprout from the Jolly Green Giant series. And I am surprised. Oh, wait, here's, I was looking for a date for him. He's pretty old. And then we've got 1970 and 1971, Mr. and Mrs. Pillsbury. Where's Farmer? He loves toys. Farmer. Oh, Farmer. Oh, there's Gary. Oh, hey, Gary. Hi, Gary. Hi, Gary. And there's Jonathan Alfaro. Hello, Jonathan Alfaro. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks for coming in. 
Okay, and Joy is out. These are from 1971 and 1972. Those are adorable. Aren't they? Oh my gosh, so cute. So cute. Yeah. Mama G says any more bids? Let's call it. Let's call it. Let's call it. We're going to go once. <laughs> and we're going to go twice. <laughs> <laughs> and with a fair warning to Christopher fair warning fair warning we are sold 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 thanks Christopher Chatworth to Christopher thanks for giving them a good home and um, that's my two Donna thanks I saw all right. All right, all right, all right. Okay, I'm going to put you, would you, you want to be on the screen with me? Do what? I said, do you want to be on the screen with me? I'll be right back. I, I'm going to move these out and I'll be right back. Give me like three minutes. Yeah, go get yourself a cup of coffee or something. Okay, I'm going to do, oh, wait, before you go, tell me how to pronounce this. Oh, that's Anye Etenye. I can't say it. It's just say Anye. Anye. Etenye. Etenye. Yeah. Yeah, that kind That's of person. It. <laughs> it's a really good bag. <laughs> it's, it's that kind of purse. <laughs> Anye Etenye. <laughs> so it's a burgundy. I don't know if it's leather. It does have the zipper. Um, it's got. Um, looks like it's never been used, honestly. $15 to start. How's that for a deal? $15 to start. And I'll pull out the lining so that you can see how clean it is. Appears to be in brand new condition. And it is genuine leather. There it is. It's genuine leather. And I'll show you the edges. So I know you want to see the edges. So yeah, doesn't look like it's ever been used. And there it is. Beautiful little purse. Nice size. Connie says she's always loved Anya. <laughs> Designer of the 70s. Okay, so I wonder if this is vintage. I don't know. Maybe somebody had it and uh, they never used it. I have no idea. 15 to start. Do I have a bid on it? 15 to start. And it is a like a brown burgundy color. Yes, it's vintage. Ah, interesting. Look at that. Excellent condition. Connie comes in at 15. Thank you, Connie. Very classic. Very elegant. Beautiful, elegant purse. Is there any other bids? 81 of you here this afternoon. Thank you, everyone. Please don't forget to go over and give a thumbs up. 17 to Deborah Reed. Thank you, Deborah Reed. But there's not a scratch on it. It looks like it's brand new from the store. Very pretty purse. All leather. Genuine leather. 20 to Connie. Great, nice reinforced corners. No wear whatsoever. Beautiful. Craig, Wolf, Wolf, hello. Thank you for coming and thanks for hanging out. We appreciate it. Welcome, welcome to the auction. All right, Connie's at 20. We're gonna call it. Okay, 
Any other takers? We're at $20 shipped, free shipping. If anybody's in the background and you'd like to register, please do. Deborah Reed's at 22. Thank you, Deborah Reed. Red burgundy. Yes, it's so pretty. It's like a red burgundy brown, like a brown color. Donna, did you auction that? Donna, did you auction that box? Hmm. Don't know which box you meant to Julie. Yes, I did. I sent you an email. I did. I sent you an email with a thank you. I did. I did. Thank you so much. Check your email, honey. Connie, let us know. Are you in or out? Deborah Reed is in at 22. Yes, thank you, honey. I have many coats, shoes, and bags, Connie says. Connie's out. So we're going to call it to Deborah Reed. We're going to go once to Deborah Reed. We're going to go twice to Deborah Reed. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. I do, Greg. Craig. And we are sold, 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 sold to Deborah Reed for $22. Thank you, my dear. I appreciate it. All right, I'm going to do a lot of, um, I'm going to do, I brought, I brought some more plush in, but I'm going to do a lot of video games. Let me just grab them. Let's see what's here. I don't know how many there are, so let me stack them up. And then I'll decide on a start price. Probably going to be $30 shipped. Let's see what we got here. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I had Massimo look at these. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. He said they were in good condition, but they're not, they're not, um, here, let me just put, um, Frenchie on mute a second. Okay. Um, they're not tested. He just looked at them to make sure that they didn't have scratches on them. So if anybody has any problems with them, just let me know. Um, and I'll show you what I've got. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So we're going to do the start at 30. $30 to start. The first one is High School Musical, and it has the book. The next one is Halo 2 for Xbox, and it does not have the book. The next one is Just Dance 2014, and it does have the book. Uh, Wilderness Hunt for Wii, and it does have the book. And next is Friends, and it does have the book. Next is 90 Great games party pack and it has the book this one is excite trucks and it does have the book ghost squad for we with the book i think my name was spelt wrong during the marathon what do you mean honey this one is nc double a zero eight Without the book, here's a, probably a great one for PlayStation, SpongeBob's Greatest Hits, and it has the book. Here's another Big Game Hunter without the book. This one is Lego without the book. This one is Skylanders Trap Team without the book. True Crime, New York City with the book uh, another big game hunter without the book 
This one is We Party Game without the book. This is Real Pool with the book. This one is another Big Game Hunter with the book. This one is Turtles Smash Up without it. Here's a Nerf Gun one for We with the book. Here's a bowling game. The middle thing is broken on it, but it's without the book. Cup, uh, Club Penguin Game Day with the book. And this one is White Snowboarding with the book. And that's what I have. And let's see. i got to go back to my chat. Is there any bids on it if not we'll just take a pass and we'll move on if no one's interested anybody interested or we're gonna pass All right, looks like it's going to be a pass. We're going to pass on the games. We'll bring them back. Um, I don't know. I didn't I didn't see. We're going to pass on them. Um, no, some were PlayStation, some were Wii. But we'll bring them back another night. Um, you know what? I just realized I have these. Let me get this here. All right. How about a lot of perfume? Let's see what's in here. This has been sitting here forever. It's probably to be listed. So perfume bottles, the older ones, you guys, um, people still, sometimes even if the perfume is rancid, people still buy it. They buy it for the bottle. A lot of people, there's a, there's a huge collector's market. Um, sometimes even if the perfume is rancid, people still oh. buy it. They buy it for the bottle. A lot of people. Okay, so um, the first one, I'm going to start this off at $50 because it's going to be expensive to ship because it has to go ground. The first one is Coco, Chanel Paris. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. Remember wearing Coco back in the 80s? Yeah, I still like it. We all wore Coco. Yeah. It's I, a classic. It, I it, love Coco. I do too. Um. I don't know what this one is, um, but it's partially used. This is the container. Do you recognize it? Uh, let me see it again. Let's see. It says it on here. It's, um, but I can't read it. Here, this is this is it. Who recognizes it? I know this bottle. I mean, I know this. I know this. Um, I don't. I do. Hold on. Let me look because I can't read the print. It's um, Justin Bieber. Oh, Justin. it's Justin Bieber. It's Justin Bieber um, perfume. Let's see how it closes. Okay. And that's how it closes. So you have that one. You guys feel free to look these up. This one is brand new, old stock, unopened. And it's nude by Bijan. Mm. Okay. That's a good one. Yeah. The next one is RSVP by Kenneth Cole. Mm -hmm. And it has a half a bottle. I don't know if you can see it. Um, trying to hold it so you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. Half a bottle of that one this one is beyond play i don't know who the manufacturer is but it's nyc beyond play smells very nice this one is oh this is a this is not even a perfume this is a um this is a um oh it smells like christmas tree it smells like christmas it's a, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Christmas tree scent. That is awesome. Here's Hugo Boss. 
That's a good one too. That's a good one too. These are all good ones. And Secret Wonderland. Is this Victoria's Secret? Some um, Victoria's Secret brands are sought after because they stopped making them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one is not marked. Oh, yes, it is. This one is, oh, it's Arapostel. And the scent is Bela. Mm -hmm. Bela by Arapostel. This one is Touche. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know who Touche is. You'll have to look it up. How about this one? Do we know this one? Daphne. Daphne, but it's um appears to be it looks like somebody it's almost full. Oh. It's hard to see because of that. It looks like somebody ripped open you know the front of it, but mm -hmm. I don't know who Daphne is. I don't know what kind of cologne this is. It's pretty. It smells like women. It doesn't smell like men. So it's definitely a women's cologne. Is there any interest? You guys? Oh, look at this one. Do you remember wearing that? Which one is it? John 2. Oh, yeah. Right? Yes. We all wore that Ooh, one, too. That's a classic. That's a classic. That's a good one. Avon Flower Time uh, Cologne. I'm sure someone's out there looking for it. It looks vintage. It looks like a vintage bottle. See? Avon has huge following. And what about this one? I don't I don't know this one. Do you, Frenchie? No. I don't Kina. know that one either. Kina? Ooh, it smells really nice. It smells really nice. I would tell you if it smells like old lady perfume. That's really pretty smelling. Sylvia's in at 50. What about this one? Oh, I don't. Follies. I don't, I never saw that one before. I like the packaging, though. Woo. Ooh. Smells like it could be. Ooh, it's very powdery. Very powdery, but I don't know this brand. I don't know this brand name either. I have no idea. And here is a. Oh, that smells really nice. It smells really good. Here's a Charisma. This is probably Avon, isn't it? Charisma. Oh yes. That's an Avon bottle, but it's a unicorn. So they probably will collect the bottle. This one is missing the uh, spray on it. Um, I don't know the brand name. I don't know if anybody recognizes the brand name on it, but it's, this is what it is. Okay. I like that. It's a big bottle, but it's missing the top. We've so. got 50 looking for 52, anybody. So that is a total of one, two, three, four, Five. This used to be my favorite thing to sell when I sold actively on eBay. Mm -hmm. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, sorry, Mama G. Looking for 55. 11, 12 for the Christmas tree scent. Coco is 13, 14. For the Justin Bieber, 15 for the Kenneth Cole, and 16 for the nude, and the unicorn is 18, I think. I lost count. I always do that. <laughs> I always lose count. So we're looking for 55. We've got a bid in for 50 from Sylvia. 18 bottles of perfume for $50, wow. as my friend T would say. What? <laughs> what? What? Connie comes You're in at that. Who is um, uh, Katie from Vicky and Katie. She says that all the time, too. Who does? Katie from Katie and Vicky. Oh, she does? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't get a chance to watch them anymore. Yeah, me either. Yeah. They're good, though. Yep, they are good. They make a good team together, for sure. 
Yeah. Connie's in at 55. Okay. Let us know, Sylvia, if you want to go 60. 18 bottles of perfume. Steal of a deal right there. Steal of the deal. I love the flowered one or the pink one. We're going to go once. Uh, Michelle says, do you guys get non-buyer's remorse like you didn't bid high enough that purse lot from Frenchie earlier? <laughs> oh, no. No, not at all. I'm passing on the savings like Donna does. So it's all good. And I just am glad that you can enjoy it. But Connie, Connie's at 55. We're going to close it to Connie. Going once to Connie. Great deal, Connie. You should do good with this lot. Go Connie. Go Connie. Go Connie. Go Connie. Anybody else? Anybody else? We're going to go. We're going to close it. $55 is the high bid. And we are sold. Sold, sold, sold to Connie for $55. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. This one is who is this? Uh oh, no tag. No tag. It's a some sort of spotted creepy looking shark. shark. But you're gonna have to look it up because it doesn't have a tag on it. This one is Adventure Planet, and it's a very sad-looking Jerry. Mm. You're so sad. Turtle. Permanently sad. So sad. Leopard shark, yes, mermaid. This one is a Wild Republic, and it's a... <coughs> what is that? It's a sea lion. Is it a sea lion? Or a seal. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Thanks for coming out, everyone, to Afternoon Delight. Afternoon Delight. It's late Aww. afternoon. Cute. For Aww. the craftsman in your, in your life. Wow, that'll sell. I didn't know craftsmen had teddy bears. Look at how adorable that is. Oh my gosh, that's I wonder if that's like a special gift or something, if you buy so many pieces or something. Mm -hmm. GWP um, gift with purchase. Speaking of gift, let's give away a gift. Yes. Yeah. Let's give away a gift. Okay. Put this on pause. I'm going to give away one of my dog lots, which is um, they're, they're stuffed animals that are not so perfect. But um, like I said before, um, people have found pieces in there that they've been able to wash up and put on eBay and sold them. So I'm going to be giving away a plush lot. And we're going to do a, um, let's do a trivia question. A question? What kind of question? A trivia question. Okay. So this is going to be a dog lot and it's going to be free to the winner. Hi, Virginia. And um, do you want to think of a question? Trivia question? Uh, I don't even know if I said it, but the first thing that just popped to my mind, whenever you had friend on yesterday on your live, see what you think about it before we roll it out. What was the car that you and she used to trampster around in? Ah, good one. A good one. First person, you don't have to have the spelling correct. Yeah, it's my favorite person, car. The first person to write it in the chat. What was the kind of car that Jane had that her and I used to go, for lack of better words, tramping around in? <laughs> yeah. We'll use a YouTube term. <laughs> Trampsters. What was it? First person to riot. Nope, not Camaro. Not Armin something. Not VOW. 
not a Mustang. Carmen Gia, Larry M. Windsor, darling, you won the plush lot. Awesome. Good he listening. He right, spelled it right. Froggy mm -hmm. gets a point for spelling it right. <laughs> Yay, Larry. Good job. Larry M. gets a plush lot. Thanks for playing, you guys. Okay. Yeah. Now, Nova. <laughs> Julie writes <It's> Nova. Nova. <laughs> okay. Bet. <laughs> Back to the plush lot. $25 to start. This is a Disney store. Don't know who this girl is. I have no, or boy, I have girl, right? I'm from that mind, um, uh, she was one of the people that had the personality. I can't remember the name of the movie, but that's where she's from. She's one of the personal personalities like sad or happy or whatever. No idea. You're welcome, Larry. Thanks for playing. And here is a little Thai 101 Dalmatian. Cute. Cutie pie. Sadness, maybe. Sadness. And oh my gosh, this one is so cute. What is the right. name of this one? Mermaid called, Inside Out is the name of the movie. It's called Elf Pets and it's the St. Bernard. So you... You put St. Bernard in the title, this will be a sure sell. And I don't know if this opens. Looks like it opens, but you guys will have to check. But he's uh, he's really well made. He's really soft and really beautiful and really well made. So you've got the St. Bernard in this lot. And then who the heck is this? He doesn't have... He doesn't have any tags on him, and he's he's got two signs. One says hugs, and the other one says that. It's like um, a lollipop or something. He's what? I have no idea who that is, but it looks like a lollipop maybe on that one side. I don't know. I have no idea. Here is a sparkly eye boo. Cute. Yep, Christmas one. These are collectible, the sparkly eye boos. Misha Renee, hello, honey. So good to see you. Misha. Here's another tie, sparkly eye tie. Cute. And it's a cute little uh, pink bunny. Joy's in it, 25. And here <laughs> is another really cute tie, sparkly eye tie. And it's a unicorn in Christmas colors. Cute. These are in excellent condition. And here is another really cute tie. It's a sparkly eye polar bear. Those are adorable. Yeah, so cute. These are all, look at these, you guys. Perfect, perfect, clean, excellent, beautiful condition. Very nice. Yeah. And here is another, this will be a quick sell, an owl, sparkly eyed owl. Oh. And it's another tie, which is really cute. And oh. Marielle yeah. says that that is BB Balloon Boy from FNAF. Oh, so it's something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, here is a... F-A-O Schwartz. Craig's in at 27. And it's a beautiful bunny with a baby bunny. Aww. So, you know, in your title, you want to put um, mommy and baby bunny plush. Because anybody who's looking for a mommy, new mommy, new mommy gift or put the name, you know, new mommy or something like that, that if they love bunnies. Mm-hmm. They'll go for that. You know, that will be really cute. So you've got the FAO Schwartz. You've got the Craftsman. Mm -hmm. Really cute. That's number two. You got all of these sparkly eyes. It's two, that's three, and four, and five, and six. The owl's adorable. Craig's and 32. Seven. The ballerina is so cute, too. So cute. Seven and this guy here is eight. The Saint Bernard is nine. The stressed out girl is sadness. that's her name. Sadness is 10. The leopard striped shark 
is 11. The seal from Wild Republic is 12. And the sad turtle, 12, 13. And of course, the cute polar bear. So isn't it 40? 14. 14 pieces of plush. Awesome lot. Thanks. They're all so clean, Donna. Yeah, my plush is beautiful. Most of them are shelf poles. I mean, when they're old, I let you people know it's old, but most of them are shelf poles. Anybody who's bought my plush will will confirm that in the chat that my, they're like clean, odor free. They're beautiful. I did have, just so that you know, I did have a mishap um, a couple of weeks ago, but I made good. I have one more to make good on. What happened was, is we had the plush outside and an afternoon thunderstorm came through. Oh, oh my gosh. And I had them under my vestibule, you know, like I have a vestibule in front of my house yeah. and the rain came from the ocean. So it came directly at my house because my house faces east. Mm -hmm. And oh my gosh, you should have seen, I wish I had it on a recording. Me and the kids, we were like, running to try to get all the packages in the house because the rain was coming right at us. And you know, in Florida, you get those like tremendous thunderstorms. Yeah, I wrap, I wrap anybody who knows that I wrap my plush in cello and then I wrap them in bags for extra protection. Mm -hmm. Some of them got wet. So oh, no. I got a couple of emails. Yeah. Some of them got wet, but that's okay. It happens. You guys, you know, it happens. So, um, it looks like Joy's in it for Jules, honey, how are you feeling? Hello, sweetheart. So glad to see you here. I hope you're feeling well, sweetheart. Jules has been under the weather, you guys, and so has um, so has Rosa. So um, please send her some love. I hope Rosa's doing well. Yeah. It's good to see you here. Okay, we've got Joy at 40. Is there any other takers? This is going to be lot number nine for me because um, lot number eight, Mama G, in case you were um, I'm ahead of you, is uh, was the free giveaway. And it's a plush lot. And we're going to go once to Joy. And we're going to go twice to Joy. I see. And... Are you going to say hi, Sandy? Hi, Sandy. Hi, Sandy. <laughs> Sorry, I interrupted you. And we are sold, 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 sold to Joy. Lot number nine for $40. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Let's see. For my next lot, I am going to do, this is very special. It's a very special piece. I'm going to show you why. I absolutely love it. And I'll show you why. Had of a bit of a setback yesterday, but I'm feeling better today. Rose is still in the hospital. Not good. Thank you all for your prayers. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Um, okay. Let me show it to you, and then I'll tell you about it. Um, it's a locket. It's all sterling. Uh, sterling box chain comes with it. I'll give you the measurement and I'll give you the weight on it. The measurement is the weight rather is um, 12 grams, 0. 0.6, 12.6. And who took my tape measure? The floor did. Darn that floor. Always taking my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and it, it measures, it measures, it measures 18 inches. I'm going to show you why it's really special. And I am going to start this at 35. Ah, oh, that's not what I was expecting. I love it. 
Now that's an angel, not a cherub, or is it a cherub? I have to keep this. Okay. I'm pulling it. I'm pulling it, guys. Sorry. I have to keep this. I debated it and debated it and debated it. And you know what? I love it. It's so pretty. It's a cherub. Is it? And I didn't even realize it was a cherub until you said it. It's a it's cherub so inside. So cute. I'm Thank keeping you. it. Thank you. I'm going to keep it. Okay. It's beautiful. It right? looks so nice. Looks so well made. It's and it's real heavy. Yeah. I am going to keep it. I am, you guys. I love cherubs. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's I, just need to, I just need to clean it. Yeah. It's I need to clean it, and I'm going to keep it. Sorry, you guys. Sold to Donna. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Forget that. But I have another piece that's really beautiful here. I don't know anything about it. I don't know if it opens. It's really heavy. Yeah, it's solid. Yeah, it's real, real heavy. It looks good. Thank you. I think I need a longer chain for it. Mm -hmm. I like it like that. I think it's pretty. Oh, thank you, Jules. It's so out of character for me. But it's like my, um, I said to Frenchie, I know. First of all, it's like way more low cut than I normally would wear. I mean, it doesn't show anything. But um, I usually don't wear sparkles. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I said to Frenchie I said Frenchie if my bra straps show I said you have to text me and let me know I said because it's it's so big at the top I feel like it's like constantly going down and I don't like bra straps showing that's why that's why Frenchie was just showing you guys our bra straps because I said to her I said let me know let me know if my bra straps show <laughs> so um <clears throat> And I'm not usually a sparkly girl, but I thought, you know, maybe on camera, the little bit of sparkle with the it's purple so background. Good. It's so good. Is it? Yeah. It's so out of character for me to wear something like I that. I love sparkles and it looks good on you. You yes. Hi, Sandy. Hi, yeah. sweetheart. Again, we need a code word for bra straps. We do. We need a code word for bra okay, straps. Thank you. I can't stand it when I see bra straps. I'm like, oh my gosh, that to me it's like, um, I mean, no, certain bra like when my daughters, yeah, they all do it. Yeah, show bra straps. I think it looks adorable on them, yeah. but not a 56 year old woman. That's what the problem is with us. So. Yeah, a 56 year old woman shouldn't be showing her bra straps. Can't play with it anymore. <laughs> can't get away with it anymore. My daughter's bra straps are darling. They're so yeah. pretty, and. And their, t their, their shirts are really thin strapped and their bras are really thin strapped and it looks so cute on them. Well, now it serves a huge purpose and it's like, forget about what it looks like. It's got to hold the girls up. Yeah, it's got to hold the girls up. No kidding. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. So no, <laughs> kind of like seeing an old man's <laughs> rat. Right, Connie? <laughs> you reach a certain age, ladies, uh, and... And this is, this is, you might want to take notes uh, because this would be a really good subject for your upcoming possible new YouTube channel, yeah. <laughs> the, you know, the fifties channel, yeah. you get to an age, right? Where it just doesn't look attractive anymore for bra straps to be showing. Yeah. What else? Sorry, guys. I'm sure all these men on here are like. I know. Right. What's the next item that you're showing? Because I don't want to talk about bra straps anymore. Go but on and on. <laughs> there are nine levels of angels and cherub is one of them. Oh, I didn't know. I don't know what that means, but it sounds very interesting. Okay. So this is a 10 inch chain, which means uh, 10 inches. So it's 20. And I'll show you what this is. And if anybody knows like anything about it, I thought it was really pretty and unusual. And I am going to start it at 20. If anybody likes anything that's Asian, look at that. Ooh. What is that? What does that mean? And what is it? But I'm not sure uh, what it means by any means. It's just, it's a bird. Yeah. 
on dogwood and then it has that little bell. I don't know if there's any kind of sub significance to this and it's got a ball chain and it's all, let me wipe my lens and it's all sterling. Jules, that's what I'm contemplating doing a 50 plus channel. I think you should do it. I think it would be very interesting. Do talk shows and yeah, I would watch that. Yeah. Real life. Like this is what it's like folks. So I don't know if that's onyx on there, if it's carved. Sandy, what do you think? I have no idea. And then it's let's, see if, let's see if there's Jojo. Hey, Jojo. Um, I think I'm, I think I want to start this at 30, Jojo, if you want to bid. Um, What's on the other side? Huh? Is it double-sided? No, I'm just showing the make. I don't know. I, I have not see if there's a – it just says uh, – yeah, just 925, and it needs to be cleaned really, really bad. And Sandy's putting question marks. Yeah, I don't know what it is either. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yep, and there's the chain, and it's 925. I think it says Italy. I'm not 100%. I'm going to have to look. Let me look for okay, you. Thirty. Thank you, Jojo. Oh, thanks, Virginia. I'll uh, let you know. Starting it. Yes, it says Italy. Does the bell jingle? Um, does it make yes. Oh, it does. That means something. Who said that? Gianna. See, she knows. Yes. Yep. It does jingle. What does that mean, Gianna? It does jingle, the bell. It's got to mean something. We will. We will talk to us for sure. Link, link. An angel collar necklace. No. What? What? Are you kidding? Looks like Donna got another necklace. <laughs> no, I'm not going to keep this one. I'm going to sell it. No, I'm going to sell it. Okay. No, I am. That is just. That's how you call a cherub. Oh my gosh, I got two cherub pieces in one lot. And those are the wings. Those pieces on the bottom must be wings. Yeah. No, I'm not going to keep it, Mindy. But it is beautiful. My 80 babies in it, 35. It's very pretty. And it does have a nice ring to it. Oh, that is so sweet. Oh, Sandy's bidding on it. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Jojo. It's beautiful. I had no idea. Gianna, I, I love you being in the chat. She's so knowledgeable. Yeah. But somebody else knew that it was, too. Somebody else said it. Baby's in it, 45. And that's probably a gold inlay in there, too, like a foil inlay. Yeah, it's really well made. It's And it's it's got nice weight to it, too. Sandy's in it. 50. Yeah, it's awesome. $5 increments after this. If anyone the, the chain is, uh, so it's 13, 13, one grams. Mm. Um, <clears throat> so pretty. So pretty. I know, right, lovey? It is amazing. And that's the chain. It's like balls. And it does say Italy on it. All right, baby's out. Sandy's in at 50. That is just so sweet. Very pretty. Okay. Sandy's going to get it for 50. Get off those hands, Ginger Ann. She's sitting on her hands. Ginger Ann, right? It's really pretty. Very unusual. It is. Going once to Sandy. Angel Bell. There's a name for that type of etching, but I can't remember it. Really? Hmm. I wonder if it's a cardinal. You know how they say that cardinals? Yes. 
I'm wondering if my sister would like that. Well, you better hurry up because it's going to go to Sandy. We're going twice. Need 55. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Tammy. Got okay, it. we're going to sell it. We're going to sell it. We're going to sell it to Miss Sandy. The Angel Bell. Sold, 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 sold to Sandy. Oh my God, what an honor and a privilege that she bought something from me. Nice spy, Sandy. I mean that, Sandy. My gosh, you you make so many beautiful things and I can't believe you just bought a necklace from me. You're amazing. $11, yeah, that's awesome, Sandy. Thank you, honey. So pretty, love it. That is so adorable. I know, congratulations. So cool. I feel like a celebrity just bought a piece of jewelry from oh, me. Oh, yeah. I mean, she's like the master of jewelry. I know. I do. I feel like I do. I feel like I feel like that, Sandy. I'm not just saying it. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like a celebrity just bought jewelry from me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm dropping everything. Well, thanks for guys sticking around. I have Quick one. 87 people in the chat hanging out with us this afternoon. Yes. Uh, That's really good. Because a lot of people don't know that I'm doing afternoon auctions now. So it's so refreshing. Um, we had lunch. We talked. Karen, where have you been? Oh my goodness gracious, girl. I hope you're well. I haven't seen you forever. Do you want to come on? Do you want me? Yeah. Oh, sure. Okay. There you go. Okay. I have a quick one off. Um, this is since Bob's coming, I thought this would be appropriate. This is a vintage 100% silk jacket. Hi, moon goddess treasures. Welcome in. Thank you. It Hi, is. Well, thanks for lurking. I appreciate it. An extra large, you can see it is a 100% silk. Yeah. And this is the pattern on it. It is um, like just kind of a squiggly pattern. I don't think it's an animal print or anything like that. No. It's the um, bottom of it. And it is just a bomber type style jacket with some pockets right here in the front. It is silk, you guys. Beautiful. Right. Nice, comfortable. And it has like a mandarin collar with a couple of buttons at the top of the collar. And it's just a generous size, extra large. I'd uh, start this at, uh, let's start it at 15 Okay, $15. It's very nice. Very pretty. Yeah. Nice jacket for the fall with a nice pair of black slacks or jeans with a black turtleneck underneath it. So pretty. So light and silk is so warm. Um, I just thought that someone might be interested in this, this lovely jacket. It's so classy zip print. It's hundred percent silk on the inside as well. I believe, let me see if it says shell, um, hundred percent polyester lining, but the it's in perfect condition. It has the, um, just a, a straight bottom, no elastic to it. Um, it has a little bottom, uh, button at the bottom to uh, close it off, but it's just so soft and so elegant. I thought that it was pretty. Um, Joy but comes in at 15. She loves it. Thanks, Joy. The name on it is Anna and Frank. 100% silk. And it is, um, it, it just feels like it is just so clean. Little, little shoulder pad in it. So I'm, I'm thinking this might be vintage. But there is not a, a seam out of place on this. Really cute pockets in the front. And it has a secure um, button on there to um, keep it shut. I just thought it was so pretty. Same on this side. It's beautiful. So, yeah. Um, I want to say it's black. It's showing up a little navy. But um, it is uh, black with like a beige face. 
but that's it. Extra large women's. We've got Joy at $15. Thanks, Joy. Let's call it quickly. Let's just, we'll just move it through if anyone else is interested. It's an extra large, Julie, honey. It's an extra large. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, my God. If I only wasn't so strapped. Oh, Jules. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Thank you, Jules. Look up St. Mungo's life story. The two little things under the tree part is fish fins. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. So there's a nice story with that charm. Gosh, I love it. You have to let us know, Sandy. So anyone else? I've got 20 for the 100% silk, extra large. Bomber jacket style. It is dry clean only. 22 to Joy Munkin. Julie came in at 20. Gianna, don't go anywhere. I want you to see this next piece that I'm bringing up. See if you can shed any light on this. If you're still here, Gianna. And Sandy, you too. Don't go anywhere. Thanks, Julie. Julie comes in at 24. Joy is out. Okay, let's call it to Julie. We're going once to Julie. Okay, thanks, Gianna. Too small for me. Oh, bummer. <laughs> Craig. <laughs> going twice to Julie. And with their fair warning to Julie for $24, we are sold, 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 sold. Thank you. Go ahead and do another one, honey. I have, um, I can hear the, um, the, the Vikings are getting restless. Upstairs. Yes. School must be over. Oh, is it? Yeah, they're going to be coming down here. We're hungry. Two seconds. There's okay. no food in this house. <laughs> Start this off at, um, you can send it to my email, Julie. I will invoice you, but my email, um, Mama G will put it in the uh, chat. Um, this is a lot of all golf shirts. All of them are a medium and all of them are Norman um uh, Greg Norman. He's a golfer. Yeah. Okay. So they're all mediums, all short sleeved, all Greg Norman. Yeah. Okay, so the first one is this beautiful purple golf shirt. So if you know anybody who's a golfer, if you'd like to resell these, these are super nice. This is a dry fit purple one, size medium. So that's the, the shark. That's what they call him. He's from Australia. But he's a professional golfer. He's now retired, but he has this line. So we're going to start this off at 25 shipped. The second one is also Greg Norman, size medium, and it's um, a very nice polo shirt, just a plain uh, pale green. That's two. The second one, or the third one, is also Greg Norman, size medium, same shirt, just a different color. This is like a peach. And this is a, um, a wicking uh, type shirt, same size, same person. This is red striped. Nice. Next one is a gray um, striped shirt. This is more of a wicking, uh, it's a lighter material, but this is the um, emblem for him. And the last one is, um, this aqua striped shirt in the same size, same person. So anybody interested? 25, I can move on to uh, Donna's lot. I have. How many in the lot? Oh, there are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. There's six. Six of them, you guys, six for $25. Great reseller lot. You can bundle those all up together. One list. 
Yeah, and list them all just si same size, same brand name, and give someone the option of just buying them all together. Right. So there are six. Yeah, and they're all cool colors, Jewel says. They're all really pretty colors. Yeah, golfers like the uh, the bright colors. All okay. right, if there's no interest, we'll move on. Okay. All right, let's move on. All right, thank you. Hello, James. How are you, sweetheart? Do you want me to do another one-off or no? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, um, just real quick, I have these men's Sperry top cider loafers. They're canvas. And these are a size, uh, these are 12. Men's 12. Brand new. Brand new. Um, they're going to start off, we'll start these off at 15 shipped. And they are never, never been worn. I have the box here. Are they canvas? They're canvas. Yep. Size 12. Start them off at 15. 15, you guys, $15. Who wants a new pair of shoes? New pair of shoes for $15 to start. There's the Sperry logo. So they're a deck shoe. Do you have them available on any other size? I do. Um, these are a 12. Okay. I have them also in... Gail comes in, Gail comes in at 15. I have them in a 11 and a half. 11 and a half. Okay. So let's see where the bidding goes, you guys. Let's keep bidding. And then she's got some sizes available if you want to keep bidding. Another 11 and a half. I have two 11 and a halfs and a 12. Okay. That's for one pair is what you're bidding on. Right. $15 to Gail. Any so other whatever, bids? Yeah. Whatever size you want. But they're... um. They have the, let's see, there's something special about these. It's called Ortholite, and the Ortholite is, um, it's not just like a flat shoe. It's It's got a little bit of support in it. Okay, for the arch? For comfort, yeah. So um, I have them in a 12 and 11 and a half. I thought I had, this is just what I have left over. I sold over 20 pairs of these. So, um, but, uh, new, uh, I'd say these are about 75, $80 new. Wow. $15 is where we're at. Are we stopping right there? This is a great deal. It's going to cost at least $8 to ship these out. Can we get, uh, 18? Hi, Lisa. Hi, honey. No, they're not a wide, Lisa. Sorry. They're but they are um giving. They are um canvas. So um they're not wide. Just a little preppy shoe. All right, so we're gonna sell it for fifteen. We're gonna sell it to to Gail for fifteen dollars. Okay, Gail. <clears throat> Um, what size did you want the 12 or the 11 and a half? Let us know the size that you need. We have several sizes available. Those are awesome shoes, guys. Thanks. Sorry, they never go or never change. Oh, Gail wants a 12. Okay. What else do you have left? I have two 11 and a halfs. Anybody want an 11 and a half or $15? We've got two 11 and a halves. Or you can buy both 11 and a halves for 30 and list them and they go for a hundred plus dollars. Anybody, anybody, anybody? 11 and a half. Eric says great buy. Yes. All okay. right. All right. Let me know if any, let me see. I will take 11 and a half for $15. 
also. Gail wants two pairs. Okay. That's great. You can combine those in shipping. Great. Great yeah. on those. I'll give you a better. Yeah. There's one pair left, you guys, 11 and a half. Gail, what do you think? And Gail, do you need the boxes? Let us know if you need the boxes. Julie's saying 15 um, for a pair. Okay. Um, oh, sorry, Lisa, you just missed it. Julie came in. Um, Gail, do you need the boxes on these? Because if you don't ship the boxes, it's cheaper on the shipping. I don't have the lid boxes. Oh, she doesn't have the lids anyways. Yeah. Oh, she doesn't have the um, the lid, Gail, on the boxes. Yeah, I just have Okay. Yeah, she just has the um, no no tops. Okay, Julie's going to take a pair for 15, the other 11 and a half. Okay, great. Perfect. Thank you, everybody. Yep, all Get three it. pairs are gone. All right. Thanks. Okay. Awesome. Great deal. Okay, I'm going to come on the screen. I'm going to show you what I have. So this is what I have. And so this is one side of it. This has not been tested. It does say 925, but this is the side. It's two-sided. I don't know if anything knows and anybody knows anything about this. And this is the other side. Oh, wow. Yeah, so there's it's like two necklaces in one, and I'll show you up close. So I don't know. This came from that same lot with the angel stuff. So I don't know if there's any kind of the chain measures 20. Um, so that's one side here. Let me show you like this. So this is one side. Oh, there's, oh, what is that? I don't even know what that is. This is one side. And this is the other side. Isn't that neat? It is. I love how it's hinged so it moves. Right? Yeah, I don't know what those spots are. But, <clears throat> um, yeah, you can't really see it unless I hold it up. And then it's got that long extender on it also. So... Um, let's see. Looks like a magnet. Hey, Barry. Santa's in the house. Hey, Barry. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> He's right. Oh, she's right. Look. What? Yeah. <laughs> yes. That is incredible look at it. so it's like three necklaces in one look you get this side and look at the sparkle on that this is going to be like some sort of crystals yeah you get that side you get that side and then you can also wear it like that that is just amazing. This is so cool. I love it. I had no idea. Oh my God, I get excited over my own stuff. I, I don't know. know. I don't even know half the stuff I got. It's <laughs> I had no idea until someone said it looks like a magnet. Oh, is that Barry? <laughs> Michelle's like, what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what just happened. Something awesome just happened. This is what happened. I'm going to show you. I brought this necklace and I'm like, there's something different about this. And that's like, it's got a design on one side. It's got a design a different design on the other side. And then when I was holding it up, I, I saw that. And who was it? Someone in the chat said it looks like a magnet. Donna, where do you want to start that at? I don't know. What do you think? I is it 95? It's trans it's a transformers for ladies. It is, it is Shelly. Okay, I'm gonna put it on one of these so you guys can get a good look at it. I mean, I guess we could start it at 25, yeah. Um, Julie, Mama G, if you can look back and make sure I'm on, I'm positive all the shoes are gone. I'm pretty sure. I'm sorry, Julie. So there it is. 
that is just whoever came up with that. I don't know, but it's pretty amazing. So it's that is one side. That is the other side. And and then you can also wear it. Yes, it's sterling. Yep, 925 sterling. And then you can also wear it like this. Yeah, really beautiful. So you can wear it like that with all the diamonds showing, or you can flip it around and wear it on this side with the colors showing and just a few diamonds. Susie's in at 32. It's really amazing. It's an amazing piece. Even even open like that, it's beautiful. Look, it how, look at the sparkle on that Frenchie. I know. It's beautiful. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I love how unique it is. It's so unique. I've never seen anything like that. Me neither. And then you just put it all together and you have that amazing piece. And the sparkle on it is crazy. And I've not cleaned this. I don't clean any of my silver. You guys have to clean it. The sparkle is really, really crazy on this. It's beautiful. It's like that piece that Frenchie bought last night had a beautiful sparkle to it too. Oh, yeah. It had an amazing sparkle to it. Uh, Shelly wants you to try to go the other way with it. See if it makes another design. Oh. I don't think it, I don't think, I don't know. My, no. All right, let me try. Hold on, maybe. I was looking to see if it made like, no. No. no I, was, I was looking to see if I could like close it. You no. know what I mean? Like. Uh, close it up, but I don't think there's a way to do it. No. Okay. No. <clears throat> it's convertible. Yeah. And not to mention it's beautiful. It is. Forty-five to Mindy K four. You're welcome, Shelly. My pleasure, honey. Everybody thinks my doll is creepy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she's um she's my mascot when Argyle's not around. <laughs> Shelly says, I love the doll. Small Town Picker is out. We've got Mindy at 45. What stones are those? Michelle, I have no idea. I hate to sound like that person, but I have no idea about half the stuff that I that I sell. Yeah, it's not a cabbage patch. I have no idea. I don't know if they're Austrian crystals, if they're little diamonds, if they're real. St I have no idea. No idea. I just... Just sell it. It's up to you to figure it out. She has a very nice creepiness about her. <laughs> Karen, you're so funny. All right, we're going once to, my, to Mindy for $45. Mindy, awesome. Awesome necklace. Awesome, I, awesome. So pretty. So pretty. I like it open, too. I think it's beautiful open. We're going twice to Mindy for $45. So unique. It is. Such a unique piece. And with a fair warning to Mindy for $45. Five. 
dollars. Yeah. Mindy K four. She does have a great smile, right, Mermaid? You guys make my job easier for me, please. This is lot number eleven. Um, Mindy forty five dollars. Do me a favor, please, and send me an email with your um, winnings. That would be great. It helps me with my billing, um, with my invoicing. Mindy K four, and it's the unusual silver necklace is what I'm going to call it. All right. Let me see what else I can pull out of here. I haven't looked at half this stuff. Okay. This is a pretty piece. This is lovely. Um, let's start this one off at here. I'll show it to you on here and then I'll show it to you up close. Let's start this one off at $20. It's really pretty. It's very delicate. It's all sterling. Oh, that's pretty too. I know it. Thank you. You have good stuff, Donna. Thank you. See how delicate it is? It's very pretty. It's a sterling chain, sterling charm. I don't know if those are little diamonds or little crystals or what they are, but you've got one side has got one little diamond, unless is that a maker's mark? Oh, yeah, that's where it says 925. So that's the back of it. That's the back of it. This is the front of it. And great little Christmas present. This is what's trending now, these nice little petite. Simple. Simple. Well, yeah. for, the young, for the young girls, anyways, this is what they're wearing. Yeah. Um, I'll, give you, I'll give you the grams on it. Bye, Julie. Thank you. Peace out, man. She's like, peace out, man. See you, Julie. <laughs> okay. I'll give you the grams on it. The grams are seven. Seven on the dot. And the chain is seven on the dot. Yeah, thanks, Jules. It is a very simple but lovely piece. Thank you. 16 inch chain. Let me know if there's no interest, we'll pass on it. $15 to start. Nice little gift. Put it in a really pretty little jewelry box. I've been looking for jewelry boxes, you guys, to try to buy some nice jewelry boxes so that when you buy stuff from me, I can include a really pretty jewelry box. I'm trying to find some pretty ones that are affordable. Believe it or not, jewelry boxes can be expensive. Um, and there you have it. 15, 15 to start. Anybody? If not, we'll pass on it. We'll pass quick. We'll pass quick. I thought about, um, sending this to my girl T, but I know she doesn't wear, um, necklaces. So I'll show you this next one. If anybody knows martini lovers. I know T loves her martinis, but this is a really cute one. Oh, it's, my gosh. It's all sterling. That is so cute. Yeah. It's all sterling. Little martini glass with an olive in pink tones on a silver chain. I'll give you the dimensions on it. I don't know what kind of... Um, does the doll have frosted lip gloss? It's fabulous. No. <laughs> into that doll it is quite the conversation piece oh wait there's a name on this one let me see what this one says is it pandora no it says cherish cherish hmm. is, that a, is that a name i don't know i've never heard of cherish oh wow look at my look at how terrible my hands are those, are, <laughs> those, those are working hands it's like gross those are working hands from working so hard. Yeah. It's okay. What are you going to do? I'm grateful. Yeah. I'm what grateful that I have working hands. You know yeah. how many people can't work? Yeah. I'm grateful that I can work. I Some people can't work at all. I just work too much. Yeah. 
but I'm grateful. I'm not, I'm not complaining. 11.4. 11.4 on the martini glass with the chain. No, I think it's an additional charm. Don't think the ma it's the maker's name. Oh, really? Okay. Working hands are gorgeous. Thank you, Karen. You're so sweet. They're kind of embarrassing. Oh, I showed you the wrong side. I showed you the back side of it. This is the front side of it. I think. Yeah, this is the front side of it. I showed you the back of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, see? Yeah. Look at that. That's stinking cute. Oh, my God. I need to get my fingers out of the screen. It's so embarrassing. I know it even sees. I don't even, I don't even see. All right, good. Seriously. Okay, anybody interested in the martini glass? The martini lover in your life. Yeah. Jean-Pierre, ciao. Come stai? Okay, martini glass. Are we passing on it? We're passing, we're passing. Okay. He wants right. to know what you're doing. What? Jean-Pierre. He wants to know what? You know, he wants to know, Donna, what are you doing? I'm nothing. Just and Craig wants to know if the necklace to your left is for sale. No, it's okay. sold. That's being shipped out. Okay, here we go. How about one, two, three? You get a package deal. You get that amethyst one with the marcasite, the martini glass, and this one we need to turn around. Three sterling silver necklaces, and we'll start the bidding at 25. There we go. How's that? Beautiful. 25 start, guys. 25 start. <laughs> 25 to start. I bundled them up. All right. We've got Craig in at 25. And they're all 925. They're all 925. Connie's in at 30. Hey, casual flipper. Connie's in at 35. Great three necklace lot. And high bid is 35, looking for 37. What time? Four. This is still good. I'm going to add this one too. One. Can you see it? Yeah. Four necklaces. Tammy's in at 41. Oh, isn't that freshwater pearl gorgeous? With some garnet, maybe? Okay. I'm going to add this one, too. Well, what? I'm speechless. Tammy's in at 41. How many does that make? Four? Five. Five necklaces. Five. Come and get them. Susie's in. Okay, we've got Susie Arrington in at 50. What a deal, you guys. And this one. Tammy's in at 55. Six. I'm losing my mind. All right, we've got a, a twisted herringbone um, type necklace. Gorgeous. That per, uh, you're right. Um, list the pearl is worth that alone. Look how pretty that is. Is that amethyst and pearls and garnet? 60 in uh, I'm not sure who went in first. I'll let Mama G call that one. Sometimes it's different. I love the pearl one. That is so pretty. 
Susie is in at 65. There we go. Gorgeous. I love the heart. Yeah, they're all pretty. Tammy's in at 75. Looking for 80. Susan Arrington in at 80. That is a wonderful lot. Oh, my God. It just keeps getting better. <laughs> Susan's in at 80. Let's see that one. Tammy's in at 85. They're so dainty and just pretty. Tammy's in at 85. It has an A on it. Aw. And it has two little amethyst balls on it. Oh, Susan's in at 90. Oh my gosh, she's reaching. She's reaching. <laughs> There's your Benjamin, Tammy, in at 100. Oh my goodness. That is an incredible lot. Look at that. How many, Donna? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of them. Necklaces. And they're all beautiful. They are. They're all special. Wowza, Shelly says. Eight necklaces, all silver. We've got a Benjamin from Tammy. Let's keep going. This is an auction. You guys are doing great. Eight necklaces. We got a Benjamin. Anybody else want to come in? We're going to close it to my friend Tammy. Anybody? Anybody? That's uh, like $12 a necklace. Susie, 110 at this level, sweetheart, if you can, please. Okay, there we go. Susie, you want to go to 110? Yeah, that freshwater pearl one is beautiful. All right, there she goes. 110. Susie. Still 110. an amazing deal. Yeah. For eight necklaces, that's yeah. like $14 each, maybe. It's, kind of, it's just great crazy. deal, you guys. Susan Arrington's out. Tammy comes in at 125. Thank you. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you so much. So pretty. I know, Mama G. The yeah. Garnet one. No. So nice. It's so just, pretty. Yeah. Okay. Susie's out. They're like little droplets. I just love that. So pretty. Little droplets. All right. We're going to sell it to Tammy. Thank you so much, Tammy. 125 to Tammy. We're going once. We're going twice for the eight necklaces. And with a fair warning to Tammy for all the beautiful necklaces, we are sold. Sold, sold, sold. <laughs> sold, sold, sold. Sold, sold, sold. Congratulations, Tammy. That is a beautiful lot. Thank you, Tammy. Um, okay, I'm going to do another plush lot. And do you have something else, Frenchie? Um, I have a Lululemon lot, if anyone is interested in any Lululemon. Lululemon still has a following, even though they have such a bad rap. There's people that um, yeah. love Lululemon. Okay, this is your first one. He's a bulldog. And it's a dandy. And no, he's a Sharpe. Is he a Sharpe? Yeah, he's a Sharpe, right? The wrinkly dogs. Totally Sharpe. Yeah, he's a Sharpe, and he's a dandy. So put Sharpe in the title. You'll sell him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This next one is a Kelly toy. Just a brown Kelly toy teddy bear. Um, this next one is a dandy. 
It's a dandy with embroidered eyes, which is really, really sweet. Little dandy. Um, what's that? A bunny. Bunny. One of my favorites. It's Sully. Oh, that's a good one. Sully. Where's Mike? <laughs> He's awesome. He is so colorful. I love him. Oh my gosh, I love him. Look at the look on his face. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sully. He's in great shape. He's beautiful. He's yeah. a beautiful one. This next one, I have no idea. It's a Disney store original authentic purple elephant. That's from... baby Dumbo. It's not Dumbo. Look no. at how little the ears are. It's like a baby. baby. I don't know. Is it from like um, Dr. Seuss or something? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe from Dr. Seuss. Anyway. Yeah, Horton. See? Horton. Uh Oh, Lisa, thank you, honey. 311, thank you. Lisa, I was showing this necklace and I I decided to keep it because look, I gotta show you. I don't know, were you here for this? I have to show Lisa this. Hufflumps. Hufflumps. Oh, is that his name? Lisa, look, I was showing this. It's a locket and then watch what's inside. It's a cherub. It's not an angel. It's a cherub. Does it have one arm? No, it has two arms. It has two arms. Isn't yeah. that so sweet? But I have to take it off until I can get a longer chain. Yeah, isn't it beautiful, Lisa? I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize it was a cherub. It is. Adorable. It's beautiful. Okay, this one is a, looks, appears to be, but it doesn't say, it says 2014, but it's like brand, brand new. I don't know if the tag got taken off, but it looks like My Little Pony. Right? Oh, that's a Pokemon. Oh, that this is Pokemon? I think. Oh, I don't know. I know anyway, it's Pokemon. You get that, you'll have to do the research on it, because I have no idea what it is. And this one is a pink... Um, it's just a pink winged pal oh. unicorn. They're saying My Little Pony. Yeah, I think that was My Little Pony. <laughs> yeah, it's so pretty. It is so special. Okay, and this one is, this one appears to have a little bit of dirt on it. So you're going to have to clean it up. You see it right there? Yeah. Little magic eraser. But this is, is this lady? It's yeah. a Disney. It's a Disney one. That's her. But it does have a little bit of dirt, so you will have to clean it. And it's uh, Lady from Lady and the Tramp. And next we have another Disney one. And is this Bambi? Mm-hmm. This is Bambi. That looks big. Is it big? Mm. Oh, okay. There we go. It's that big. Yeah. And last but not least, we have, oops, I can't see. We have another FAO Schwartz um, teddy bear. Aww. FAO Schwartz with his FAO Schwartz sweater. So cute. Yep. They're so expensive. Yep. So expensive. We used to uh, take the kids there um, when we'd go to New York City and we would tell the kids, you can just look. Yeah. <laughs> I'll buy you a lollipop on the way out. Yeah. $12. Yeah. That. Everything else you're just going to look at. That's it. <laughs> okay. So that's one, two. We did, we did let the kids um, pick out. They all picked out something one time when we were leaving New York city. It was uh, Denali. We had just had treatment um, and we, we did let all the kids pick out a little treat, but it was a, it was a gift from um, someone they had sent money Aww. to buy the kids a treat. So, so nice. you know, it wasn't coming out of like the household money. We weren't being frivolous. It was just, it was, you know, someone had sent us a gift of money to, to the kids for, you know, for everything that they were going through. Right. 
so we did take them there and that's so nice yeah it was really nice and they got to pick out they didn't pick out expensive stuff they just picked out little i think my daughters both picked out a pony like a stuffed pony or something Aww. and i'm probably reselling it right now because i probably donated it to goodwill years yeah. ago <laughs> probably, it's been probably one of these back <laughs> i don't know Joy in at 39. Yeah, but everything there is just so expensive. Oh my gosh, I know. You just can't, you know. It's not like your average store. Yeah. It, and that one was on, I think it was on, you know, Fifth Avenue in New York, like, you know, right near the Apple Rockefeller store. Rockefeller Center right there. Remember that one? Yeah. yeah. It's closed now, right? It's gone. They, put, they have a new one. It's in Rockefeller Center. Oh, they do? They have an FAO Schwartz in Rockefeller Center? Yeah. Oh. The one that you're thinking of closed, for sure. I. Yeah. I mean, I haven't been back to New York in eight years, so I don't know. But um, Joy's at 39, and going to Joy for 37. <laughs> hmm. I see Joy at 39. Yes. Mama G. Yeah. Um. We're going to go out. We're going to go once. And we're going to go twice. And with a fair warning to Joy for $39. And we are... Sold, 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 sold. Two joy for thirty-nine dollars for the plush lot. Plush lot. Okay, we're gonna do another plush lot giveaway. Woohoo! Did I hear giveaway? You did. Plush lot giveaway. Lot number thirteen, joy. Plush lot giveaway is gonna be number fourteen. Do you want to ask the trivia question? It's going to be a dog lot, you guys. Okay. Um, let me think. Thank you, Joy. Um, what? What? Um, okay, so let's do it like this. Yeah. She's going to, all right. She's going to ask the question. We're going to have Mama G, uh, Put the hearts in because I like doing it that way. Mama G is going to put the hearts in. The first person to guess what she's going to ask after the hearts go in is going to win a dog lot. And those of you that are new that are watching in the background, first of all, you have to be subscribed. And a dog lot is uh, stuffed animals that are maybe not so perfect. Um, like that lady in the tramp, I probably, I mean, I think it will come clean, but things like that, you might be able to clean them and post them, but just not so perfect. Okay, ready? Okay. Do you want me to ask the question or wait for the hearts? Um, wait for the hearts. Okay. You have a question? This is going to be quick. It is? Yeah. So everyone get ready. All right, we're ready. You going to volleyball? Yeah. You guys are so devoted. No, no, not really. There you are. Do you want me to she say might, it? Yeah, she might be busy. Okay. Okay. The, qu the question is. Okay, there. there we go. Okay. The question is, what item of clothing does Donna and I need to get a code word for? Oh, <laughs> three letters three letters okay there's lisa jenkins <laughs> lisa 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 won another dog lot she's devoted she's she's got a quick typing quick. <laughs> all right Thanks for participating. Okay. Um, 
Donna, this is going to be my last one because I okay. do have to take my daughter to practice. Okay, honey, go ahead. Okay. The last item for me, and I just wanted to say thanks to Donna. And I just wanted to show you how beautiful, again, if you missed it earlier, the necklaces that I bought from her. I mean, her stuff is such good quality. And um, I know that, um, you know, she appreciates all your support. But, mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Um, but my last lot for the day is going to be a Lululemon lot of yoga pants. And I have four pair here. I'm going to start them off at um, $20 shipped. And you'll see why, because it, they'll, these will be an easy list. If you're not um, reselling, these could be for you because three of them are the same size. Um, this pair of yoga pants here are the regular seam because now they have the high uh, waisted. These are regular waisted. But you can see here that the tag is missing. It's a real long tag normally. So the tag is gone. But if you see right here, there's a little pocket behind here. And if you open up the pocket, the size will be in it. So don't ever worry. If you get Lululemon and there isn't a size tag on it. So Oh, um, Lululemon. I was thinking... Yeah. I was thinking the other one, Lululemon is, is, uh, those are beautiful. No, 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 no. I was thinking of the other one, Lulu. What is it? Um, Lulu LuLaRoe. Yeah. Lulu LuLaRoe oh. is what I was thinking. Oh. Donna, whenever you said that, I was thinking, I was like, well, what happened with Lululemon that I didn't know of? <laughs> no, <laughs> I was confused. Okay. I'm sorry. But I just, I just wanted, while I interrupted you, I just want to say, Lisa said to give the dog lot to somebody else because she actually has won two dog lots like in the past week at wow. giveaways. She's been really lucky. So I'm going to give it to Devin, who is, um, he is my reason. <laughs> she was the second person to guess. So um, that's so nice. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. So these are Lululemon, not LuLaRoe. Um, this is, um, and you can see the, the tag, these are an eight, which is the desirable size and fits mostly, you know, a lot of people, but these are a, um, Navy color with a really nice, um, band that is like a, a golden mustard color band. So these are in great condition. I've got the, um, logo right there on the pants and this is the bottom of them. So this is the first pair of yoga pants these are super expensive and they are indestructible super expensive indestructible and they are that the seams are guaranteed they for are. life so even if you buy these today and you find something wrong an imperfection or something like that or you seam can, split yeah you take them back and they will give you something that's comparable yep here is another um inside and you can see the tag is gone because they're infamous for the tag being super, um, super long. But if you look inside, here's the pocket. Here's another, there's the size right there. What size so, are they? This is a size, um, six. Okay. So, We've got Thelma in at 30. How many pairs do you have total? Um, let's see. One, two, three, four pair. Four pairs total, you guys. This is a, these go for a hundred dollars each. Yeah. Literally each. And this one is the same yoga bottom on it. Yeah. And this is a, a, a color block um, waist. Yeah. Uh, in, in really good shape too. My, and my, my daughters love these. Yeah. And, and I just, I do, I just want to tell the story too, is I, I bought them for school. They love to wear them to school. I'm sure your daughter does too. She loves to wear like stuff like that. Well, she might have a uniform. I don't know. But anyways, my kids love, love to wear them to school. And I bought them like Victoria's secret ones. They were worn out and you could see their butt through them because the fabric was so thin well yeah. with these you cannot see through them the the right. fabric is phenomenal so yeah yeah eight dollars to Susie Lee and something for you hello Leanne she could be at 50 great okay. deal so here's another pair and you can see the logo right here it's like a reflective again um the tag is gone out so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna look for a pocket and here it is right here in the little um, in the little pocket here. There's another six. 
So a size eight and a size six, this has a lace waist. And again, all the logos are on it, which the kids have to have. Um, where's the other one here? Dave Jackson is at 65. Oh. Thank you. Are they new? Joy wants to know. No, they're not used or they're gently uh, worn. Gently and they're all worn. yoga bottom. All of Thelma. them are the bottom. Okay, Thelma is out. Dave Jackson is at 65. Okay. And Leanne, something for you is at 70. Thank and you. the last pair is a gray and royal blue and light blue um, color block. And this pair is a, let me get to the pocket. And it's like a coin pocket on there. Joy is out. And Jules is asking the sizes on the last two, two the what it, what was the size of the last two? Okay, um, six. These ones with the the lace on the top or the lace um, like thing. Uh, let me get to the pocket. Six or all sixes in one eight. All sixes and one eight, folks. Right. This is a six. And we are at 75. Joy is out. Thelma is out. Dave Jackson, let us know what you think. Dave Jackson comes in at $75. Okay. These are the only um, eights. This one with the, the mustard colored stripe. And thank you, um, Dave. Leanne, let us know, honey. These are the eights. So all sixes, three sixes, one size eight. Susie is out. Thank you for the out. Jules says, darn it, too small for me. And she's crying. <laughs> these are, these are, um, they, they stretch. 80 from Leanne. So these are all in great shape. So there's four pair. Dave Jackson is out, and we have Leanne at 80. Painting the roses red. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Hi. The roses. We're doing yoga pants. And I've got four pair. We're going to call it. Let's call it. Small town picker <laughs> wants to know if they stretch to a 16. Uh, <laughs> I don't think so, honey. <laughs> I don't think so. All right, let's sell it. We're going to sell it. We're going to sell it. We're going twice. These are cute. <laughs> We're going three times for $80. All right. And with a... Fair warning, we are sold, 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 sold. <laughs> to Leanne. Thank you. $80. Yeah. Okay, so I want to know from you guys, number one, please, please, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up on the way out. If you can come back and make a comment. And I think I saw in the chat, maybe, um, yeah, my phone's dead. I think I saw in the chat that Laurie is live. Uh, please, please, please don't come back. Don't forget to come back and support T and Kimmy tonight during her auction. Um, I think it's eight. I'm not 100% sure. My phone is dead. So someone maybe can um, put the link in. And I also quickly wanted to let you know, I did pick up a whole bunch more makeup this morning, $55 for the makeup jars. Um, if anybody's interested in the makeup jars and I still have jewelry jars, I, I have plush lots. If anybody wants me to make them um, somewhat of a custom plush lot or a mystery plush lot, give me um, a price. They, they have been averaging about $50 for a um, mixed plush lot. I'll be happy to put together a nice mixed plush lot for you. Nice. Um, $55 for the makeup. Um, Laurie's auction with Robin. Oh, I didn't know that. 
Okay, casual flipper. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, yeah, let me know. Record lot for Johnny. Yep, for Connie. John. I was going to say Johnny. Johnny Conson <laughs> for Connie Johnson. Yes, I need to get you. I need to get those records. I will. Trust okay. me. I hear a meowing. Um, <clears throat> you guys can also email me if you have orders that you want me to put together for you. Um, I promise they'll be pretty and they'll be awesome. And Frenchie, thank you for coming on. And Thelma is going to be my guest on Monday afternoon. I don't know if we'll do noon, a nooner. And it's a nooner. It's a nooner. We might do a nooner. <laughs> no link for tea yet, Donna. Oh, okay, Mama G. Hmm. So I, she usually, sometimes she goes on at seven, sometimes she goes on at eight. So just watch for her stream for tonight. Um, and just open your eyeglass lot. Wait till you see what they will look like after I, um, what's that word? Re- Imagined by Jules. Wow, cool. Um, Joy, so are you, honey. You're awesome. And um, yeah, I'll get with Thalma and let you know as far as what day, um, I mean, what time we'll go on on Monday. I'll do the stream sooner than later so you guys can set the reminder. Please come back and give a like. And thank you, Frenchie, for coming on and co hosting. I hope you had fun so much fun. Thank you, everybody. All right. Thanks, everyone that made a purchase. And we will see you soon. And I'll leave you with this. <laughs>